What? Do the intro. Uh, white people forever. Okay, no, no, that's not the intro. We're getting rid of that. Cut that out. <laughs> yes, well, that's the best part. <laughs> Welcome back to the big combo. Happy Juneteenth. Uh, it's June 21st, but yeah. WPF. All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Big Humble Podcast. I am Handsome Morgan here with Trillion Dollar Daddy and Dangerous Brown. Ooh. He's back. I am back. I'm happy yeah. to be back. Are you okay with Dangerous Brown as your Big Humble nickname too? I'm, I'm, I'm right. absolutely cool. With yeah, that. you gotta just Dangerous Brown. it. Fucking yeah. Asan Ahmad is back. Thank you for the having only, me again. The only guest we've ever had. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and back for a second time. And our only repeat guest also. <laughs> Pretty sick. Yeah, setting records. Um, yeah, Son's in town for a week, so yep. he's here. It's gonna be sick. Gonna Did be you bring anything to present to us? Uh, I brought absolutely nothing. Okay, we didn't either. So yeah. <laughs> maybe Thanks. that's it. Cool. All Thank right, you cool. guys. Love hey, you. Man. Good episode. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Um, Morgan, do you have a good Juneteenth? Um, what was that? Friday? Yeah. What did I do Friday? Uh, no, I just kind of sat around. First, uh, first Juneteenth to nationally recognized or something, right? Yep. The president or whatever. I don't like it anymore. Why? It's oh, not like too anymore. mainstream. Yeah, it's like when a band gets too good. <laughs> yeah, too many and fans. Then white people know about it, and now they're doing stadiums and stuff. Yeah. 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 yeah so, how did you feel when they first told you, or when you, they first told you? <laughs> when they sent, when they Biden, when Biden personally <laughs> came to your house, it was like an Amber Alert. Yeah. Only black people got. <laughs> but when you first heard it was a national holiday, how did you feel? I first heard it, champagne. then I like went on Twitter, and then I saw like a bunch of uh, senators singing "Wish Every Voice" or "Lift Every Voice," which really? is traditionally known as like the Black National Anthem. I was like, I, "This isn't it, guys." Uh, that's the Black National Anthem. Yeah. Did they um, wear? Did they wear? It's like a big church. I always thing. thought it was Salt Shaker by the Union. Uh, <laughs> you know what, Matt? <laughs> kind of set you up for that one. Shouldn't even bother it up. I was like, "What's the funniest song? What's the funniest song? What's the funniest song?" <laughs> Not bad. Did they all wear like the kente cloths while they sang? There were some kente cloths. Okay. Uh, Alan Omar, in that closet she, she if you had never heard the song before. <laughs> she was just in there, was like, uh huh. Who? Like, Alan Omar or Omar Alan? No, Alan. Oh, Omar. oh yeah, that Minnesota. One. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but you didn't celebrate. You didn't do anything. No, nah, I can't celebrate or do anything. <laughs> I'm still on broken leg. Uh. My, th- I, you know, I did, but I also celebrate Black History every day. So, oh yeah, how do you do that? Um, by not, um, by just being a good guy, <laughs> by not, uh, <laughs> watching sports and stuff. Yeah. It's good stuff. A lot man. of that. Um, what was I going to say? Um, fuck. I had something funny. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> um, well, it's was, not it, June, was it about black history? It's not Juneteenth anymore. So let's stop talking about it. No, it's June, I mean, I didn't really want it's to. June, it's June 21st. And you know what that is? What day is that? The fucking summer solstice. Oh wait. Asan was telling Wasn't me that yesterday. I think it's today, the 21st. I think it was, this, I think it passed, bro. Whatever. Well, we're around the time. Yeah. yeah. It's either today or yesterday. Mm-hmm. And, you know, in the grand scheme of things. They're the same day. Same exact day. <laughs> yeah. To, uh, yeah. Whatever. Um, <laughs> you told me that Juneteenth, because I thought it was when they signed the Emancipation Proclamation. No. No, no, right? It's like, it's like when, it's like the, when the last, oh, God. It's like when they, it has to do with like Galveston, Texas. It's like the last, when, I, was it like the Union stores or something? Someone went down to Galveston and then told the people there who were still slaves that they actually weren't yeah. slaves anymore. So they were already of, free. Yeah, I think it was like a couple of years after but the they, Civil War. They didn't yeah. know they were free. They didn't no. know they were free. Because no. they didn't have email. And then so. like the slave owners just were like, just give us a couple more months. Yeah. <laughs> you have to put season. it into two weeks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are we going to replace you that fast? It was like a crop season or something there. Like we just got to look. We get yeah. this going. Yeah. Here. Just a little bit more tobacco. We can't pay anyone for this yeah. work. That's <laughs> insane. <laughs> what is a, uh, this might be inappropriate. What's the, uh, of all the crops, what's the easiest one do you think to harvest? Tobacco just leaves as right? like manually as a as a slave. cotton's definitely the worst because it's got like prickers. Yeah, and it, cotton has the worst rap. Yeah, uh, well, I think. culturally, well, cotton post cotton gin is True. like oh uh, yeah, way gin. easier. Thank right. you, Eli M- Whitney. Whitney, yeah. I almost said Eli Manning. <laughs> what was getting the, his jersey retired? This, I didn't know that. Yeah, Thank they you. announced it today. Wow, that's sick. The Giants Ring of Honor. Good for Eli. He deserves it. Yeah, yeah, he does. The Book of Eli. <laughs> Sure. He, <laughs> but Eli Whitney, better Eli. He should uh, get his jersey retired. More I think impactful he has his to America, yeah, Eli his, Whitney. Well, arguably. I think his, he has his jersey <laughs> retired. Who? Eli, Eli Whitney? Whitney? Yeah. The Cotton Gin? No, it's in the Slave Hall of Fame. Oh, yeah. I, I don't think he was a slave. I think he was a slave. Eli Whitney? He wasn't a free man while he was inventing Cotton Gin while people were still picking No, I think him. he was a white guy. He's a white guy. No, Eli Whitney's black, isn't he? No. no, I'm wrong. No. Yeah, Eli yeah, Whitney's black. Why, why would why would a, why would a slave invent a thing to prolong slavery <laughs> or to get rid of the hardest part? It's not like it was his choice whether it was ending or not. No, but it's like it's like I think he was bald with a beard. Eli the, Whitney, very white. Yeah. No, balding. At the, 
at the time, like, else you well, why would a white guy do it? Who else are you going to try to take from us? Well, I guess he was trying to get, like, well, a better profit. Well, no, so at the time, like, slavery was, there was already grumblings about slavery being on its way out, and then, like, because picking cotton with your hands is inefficient, and then... When he invented the cotton gin, it became way more efficient and it prolonged the life of slavery. It's one of the things that sort of uh, kept it going. Wow. So, yeah, there's no way he'd be a slave. I don't believe okay. in slavery. I do believe in states' rights. <laughs> Either I'm going to put him in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> You're gonna put him, he deserves yeah. it. Yeah, let's It's a Hall of Fame. Up. It's not whether we were good or bad. You know what I mean? Who, else is, it, who else is in there? The Slave Hall of Fame. Kunta Kente? No. Really? Yeah, probably. I would think I mean, he'd he's be got yeah. to be. Yeah. He's pro- he's like the statue uh, outside. Fuck, what's he's, his yeah, name? he's definitely the slave with the most airtime. Django, the- <laughs> <laughs> maybe the Hollywood slave. J- Django's sure. got to be in there. Yeah, Who was yeah. the guy that had the slave result revolt and then Nat uh, Turner? Yes, Nat Turner oh, Nat for Turner. sure. Obviously, he's probably number one. Obviously, Tubbs and shit yeah, will be in like there. Nat Turner, uh, <laughs> Did you just Tubbs. Say Tubbs. Yeah, yeah Harriet Tubman. <laughs> okay. H T. Uh, to join the truth. It's twenty twenty one. Can we call her Harriet Tubb woman? It's actually um, it's Sojo H- for uh, sure. It's actually Harriet. Did you say Flojo? Sojo. Oh. It's 2021. It's Harriet, Harriet Tub them. <laughs> yeah, Harriet Tub person. Yeah, Harriet Tub person. Very good. Um, my family was so poor when we went down to Florida, we had to take the Underground Railroad. I made that joke last week. Um, <laughs> <laughs> when for some reason we were also there, talking about Juneteenth. It could be. Something could be funny about that. You start to you phrase it better. Underground Railroad, something. You, yeah, what do you say? Motels? Something about motels. <laughs> <laughs> um, was Harriet Tubman a slave? I think so. In like her early years? Yeah, I don't Did think she escaped or she got free? I th- she probably escaped. Word? Yeah, yeah if probably. I had to guess. If I had to guess. What a legend, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty bad. What a ass. fucking legend. And they made some Disney movie about her. They did? Yeah. Harriet the Spy? <laughs> <laughs> No, that would be an appropriate title, though. But <laughs> that's a, that's a movie about Harriet Tubman. <laughs> uh, they yeah. should do it like, an, like last it, year, I think. It would also be very Hollywood in like the '90s to have Michelle Trachtenberg play yes, Harriet Tubman. Absolutely. Wait, who are they trying to have player? Uh, uh, Julia Roberts. Julia yeah. Roberts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> would have been so sick. Yeah. That's insane. Like that's so funny. I would I would watch that movie. What? How long? Yeah, I watch that movie. Yeah. I, I, there's no way I couldn't watch it. it. It'd right. be good too. She's a great actress. How? She would be good. It'd be a lot. Be going. How long until Hollywood does like a Juneteenth Avengers type thing where it's like oh, God. Harriet Tubman, Sojourner Truth, all these people just named <laughs> coming together. It's like Mighty Ducks too, where they like blow the whistle and they're all get uh, get them out of the field or whatever. And who's who's going to be the Hawkeye of that group? Uh, I don't know who's like the most boring, uh, like slave. the second dude to play uh, Hamilton baseball. or something. <laughs> Lin Man, Lin Man, yeah, whoever Lin came Man. after Jackie Robinson. George Washington's personal chef. George Washington Carver. Uh, he, was he a slave? I don't know. He's black. Yeah, and around the time, peanut butter. Right? Is that? Oh, that's him. Right? He's peanut yeah. butter. Yeah, he's peanut butter. And, and he like invented a, a bunch of other stuff. things. Yeah. I, will, I guess <laughs> but what, we just we just trashed peanut, peanut, peanut butter. Most fire. Would Frederick Douglass be Iron Man? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. For sure. For sure. Yeah. But I'm trying to think. Who's Captain America? That'd probably be Nat Turner. No, it'd be like Uncle Tom or something. <laughs> <laughs> but didn't they like switch places though? Who? Who? Like uh, at the beginning of Avengers. H- Uncle Tom and no, no. Let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Sorry, I was thinking a lot of things. And I just said Uncle Tom. But uh, uh, in Captain America, like in like a uh, fucking the one where him and Captain versus uh, Captain America versus yeah. Iron Man. Oh yeah, Civil War. Civil War. Yeah. Civil War. Uh, oh, appropriately talked. <laughs> <laughs> Iron Man that's, was that's the one where Iron Man fought for states' rights. Yes. That okay, was, that was that yeah, no, he was like way more radical than Cap- No, Captain America was more radical, right? Iron Captain Man was like, America let's was just way do more. what the government says and yeah. Captain America was like fuck that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, really? I thought Iron Man was the one that was like fuck that shit. No, yeah. Iron Man was like we got to follow oh, this, he's rich. we got to follow yeah. the rules. Yeah. 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 And Captain America was like I come from the 1920s or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 80 years old. I don't know what's going on anymore. Yeah, that'd be a fun movie. Maybe we write it. We could sell it. About the Black Avengers? Do you, yeah. Do you think it did freak Captain America out the first time he walked into like a restaurant that was just like, oh hell yeah, black people sitting wherever they <laughs> yeah. wanted? I think I think it's one of those things though where he was just like he was like freaked out, but he was like, I mean, everyone seems to be okay with this. I can't say anything. Yeah. He, I mean, in he's, the also, mo- he's from like Brooklyn too. He, he knew black people. In the movie, his transition to current day was so smooth. It's pretty yeah. seamless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't seem like he was affected much. <laughs> well, I guess once you have superpowers, things don't just surprise you. He you was sort of roll with. He it. was frozen in ice, right? Yeah, I think so. Just he happened to crash into ice and it froze him, mm-hmm. and then he was fine. But yeah. it, the super serum also helped him. Yeah, kept him alive. I think a weird movie. Yeah, it's pretty. They're good, but they're and sick. who was his wife? She came back too. She was alive. No, his wife. Or she yeah. was old. She came back at the end of Endgame. He he goes oh, back right, in time right, right, directly right, right. with her. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Spoiler alert. Well, I mean, at this point, 
Yeah. Also, uh, the, Iron Man, the, the, Iron the Man movie's dies. made $3 billion. I don't know anyone who hasn't seen it that wants to see it. Iron Man dies. And, uh... <laughs> did you guys cry yeah, when yeah. Iron Man died? I am Frederick Douglass. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Who's Thanos, though? Just white people in general? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, US, the fucking... U.S. government. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Dutch East India Trading Company. George Washington, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Hey. What? Rude. Not Who would guy. be Black Panther? Who's the, the one white guy that would be on the... I think that'd be Nat Turner. Oh, no, that would be... Nat Turner's uh, white? That'd be... No, no. Oh, wait. It would have okay, okay, to be the white guy. It would be... Uh, there's that guy, John Brown. Yeah. Yes, I know yep. what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. He tried to start a fucking sla- a revolt for the slaves. Yeah, Matthew Kansas. McConaughey play him in the movie. Yeah, he and his sons all died for the cause. That's pretty That's pretty metal. Yeah, that's, Damn. yeah. Yeah, Black Panther. Mm-hmm. Where was he from? Kansas, I think. Kansas forever. <laughs> Wichita forever. Wichita forever, yeah. <laughs> They have like cool technological buildings. And stuff. <laughs> but no one wants to go there because it's Kansas. Yeah. It's the same exact cover. It's yeah. so shitty. Yep. Yeah, it's, it, there's not even it's a like, for- yeah, We're not worried about that. Yeah. There's not even a force field around it. It's just in Kansas. <laughs> who, who would be Hulk? Ooh. Oh, Harriet Tubman is Hulk. I think Word? so too. I like yeah. that. I do yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. I figured she'd be like Wonder Woman or whatever. But she also feels like a Captain America type. Yeah. Because she was so like crucial and important. She could be Hulk. The, how how badass if Harriet Tubman is just turns into angry Harriet Tubman and gets real big. And shit. <laughs> People discover her like a uh, trap door and she. <laughs> 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 um, all right. Um, <laughs> this is a really good idea. I think. Yeah. yeah, there's something there. At least a very funny sketch. Um, today is is June 21, summer solstice, mm-hmm. allegedly. Yes. Um, longest like day it. of the year. Exciting. Do you like the longest day better or the shortest day? I like the longest day. You know what? No, Depends on how depressed I am. Yeah, usually basketball on the longest day. Huh? Usually play off a basketball game on the longest yeah. day. Yeah, there's it's nothing today. Nothing well, today. No. Olympic trials. <laughs> yeah, we were watching. We were <laughs> watching the women's steeplechase Olympic trials. <laughs> yeah, what a dumb sport. Is it a sport? Steeplechase, that's, yeah. That's giving it a, a lot of credit. It's still running. Uh, would you say the Running's not a sport. Okay, so you wouldn't say the 100 meter dash is a sport. No. It's a game. It's a, it's a race. race. Okay, fine. It's a, it's, what a dumb race. Yeah, yeah but all right. I literally, I thought this when we were dumb sitting race. outside. Sports <laughs> are just- Can you name any other dumb races? Um, well, I'm sitting with two of them in here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you know what? To you, fair. Because every other race probably seems pretty dumb. But I resent that. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he's like, I mean, all of them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's Asian. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, crazy. Southeast wow. Asian, right? It's crazy that there's mm-hmm. Asia is so big. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy that the biggest country in Asia is also partly in a different continent. Yeah, it's it's two it's a two continent country. So, do some people in Russia say I'm European, and yeah. some are? Yeah, and then some. Uh, hey, some you don't even hear about the Asian Russians. Uh, they, a lot of them right. look like they're Koreans. Like a lot of them really? look Asians. Yeah, yeah, because it's right above Korea. Where's so like Siberia? The same people. I think like north, somewhere in the north. Tigers. Siberian tigers. Okay. <laughs> um, I have a question. Mm-hmm. If you're a Russian in the living room, what are you in the bathroom? Oh my god. <laughs> what are you? Probably Russian, so you don't change races, <laughs> dumbass. Um, longest day of the year be a good day to have a birthday, wouldn't it? Yeah, sure yeah, would. You get the longest yeah, birthday party. You sure do. So well, you gotta wait the longest for the lights to go down so for it to really get in fun. Speaking of Juneteenth, happy birthday to Rebecca Black. <laughs> <laughs> it was on Friday. It was. Um, she's only twenty three. Yeah, turned twenty three today. Damn, wait. So how old was she when Friday came out? It was in she's what two thousand nine or she's something. Like fourteen and around. That oh, that's time. crazy. Yeah. Can we just acknowledge how mean we were to Rebecca Black for? I mean, good reason, but also like, isn't she like a lesbian? The psychological something? shit that she has has to have gone through. She was the laughing stock of the leading entertainment country in the world. Yeah. For a long, for a whole summer, for doing for doing something that like she probably asked her parents, and her parents were like, yeah, we'll throw you the money. Yeah. And any of us would do that. Yeah. And I don't know if you like. Yeah, so- my parents would save me from that type of embarrassment. Would they? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think they thought she was going to be a sensation. I think they would be like, like yeah, she hey. wants to record a song. And there's a company that'll do it. Sure. Yeah, I, mean, I, think my pa- I think my pa- my parents would have been suspicious of the guy who was in charge of the company. So we went through when when it came out. Me and my friends we were like, what is this channel? Yeah. So we went through the channel 
And it's all like songs like that. Yeah. It was all like, but like, like 14. There's some bangers. There's some other bangers. There's like, Are there like, really? Yeah. Bro. No, no, there's but, one about like my pants or whatever. You know that one? <laughs> no. Dead serious. There's a, uh, there's, it's all like 14 year old girls singing about how like they love Chinese food. Like one of them is about how Chinese food is great. I'm listening. And that black dude that raps in Friday is in every single song. Oh, this is great. Oh, word. Yeah. Is he every the guy that single, I, I think he's the producer and that like, that's the sort of like weird, like very dark backstory of all this is that dude is in every video. Wild. But, uh, mm, he's a producer though. Yeah. yeah. I get that though. You can't play it. Um, I get that if you're the producer, cause you also have aspirations to be a rapper. You're like, if I'm producing all this shit anyway, and there's a chance someone might see it, I'm putting a verse on there. Uh, where there's smoke, there's fire. That's all. No, I'm for say. sure. I, I mean, look, yeah. it's and it's like a lot of smoke too. <laughs> yeah. right? I'm choking right now. Yeah. I'm just trying to find a path out of here where yeah. this guy didn't do the bad thing. Um, closest without going over, how many views on YouTube do you think? Oh, I don't know if that's the original version. This she posted it. Let me see if I can find the OG one. <sighs> Man, that's like that was crazy YouTube days then too. And it, it it was like big on YouTube in a time when there was like, in college. We drink that song on Fridays and get shit faced. Yeah, I was, I was, it was my freshman year of college when it came out. I remember because I was like, I have to, it was one of those things where like, oh, I got to find all my friends and they got to watch this. Yeah. I was so happy. So fun. Okay. I guess how many? I'm going to say 867 million. Damn. Well, if she posted it, it's probably not the original. Yeah, this can't be the original. I'm I'm guessing, yeah, I'm guessing like 130 million. Yeah, this is 150 million. Ooh. But I want to see if I can find the original one. Unless she, she, maybe she got rights to it and and took the other one down. I would say probably, you know, the original got taken down because it was run by this, you know, maybe probably pedophile. (laughs) For sure. (laughs) It's fucking freak show organization over there. Where's she from? Like Pennsylvania or something? I wonder how much money she made. Um, oh, I, I mean, don't know. She got like Florida energy, doesn't she? I doubt. I could see like Western Pennsylvania too. She's killing it now, though. She's back on TikTok. She's from Irvine. Okay, really? Well, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, also yeah. see that. I, I think all the kids were probably from Southern from here California. with like rich parents. Um, let's just read this real quick. She got tortured. She's really cute now. Of course, she got tortured. Um, oh yeah, yeah. You know, the internet, the most forgiving place on the planet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Black dropped out in favor of homeschooling, citing both a need to focus on her career and a desire to avoid taunts from her former classmates. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kids are going to be extra rough with that. Yeah. Oh, she's queer. Yeah. I just said when she came out. I I still don't know what that means. What, queer? Yeah. It means you're queer. I don't know. Yeah. Let's see what Wikipedia says. <laughs> a little of both. It's an umbrella term. So it just means you're, 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 not, heter- you're not heterosexual. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 either so it, mean, whatever. it either means you're not heterosexual or you found you're looking for an angle in Hollywood. One of the two. True. It means one of the two things. <laughs> All I know about queers is you got to smear them. <laughs> smear the queer. I, I know what you're talking about. No, you never don't, played that. No, no, Don't hit that button. <laughs> you never played smear the queer. No, we called I've it something else. I've heard the name of it. Oh, we called it kill the carrier. It's a game that doesn't make sense because if you get the ball, you get tackled, but the point is to get the ball. It's a very simple game. It's just tackle hmm. the person with the ball. We used to play games. It's just so little kids can hit each yeah. other. Yeah. <laughs> I used to hoe pumpkins um, in a pumpkin field. Mm-hmm. And on break, we'd play a game where we'd set a water bottle down and throw rocks at it. And if you knocked it over, you had to run and pick it up while everyone threw rocks at you. That's pretty fun. That's pretty good. I That's like pretty that. Terrifying. And if, if, you were, if you were sandbagging like and you didn't knock over the thing, mm. we'd make you stand up and we'd just throw rocks at you anyways. Okay. So there's no uh, getting out That's of it. That's like butts up well with rocks. Yeah. I remember one day we were having an acorn fight and my dad just came home and he was like, what are you guys doing? And there was like eight of us in the middle of the street just chucking acorns, acorns at each other. It's like, we're having an acorn fight. He's like, no. <laughs> he's, like, guys, he's like, someone's going to like fucking hurt their eye or something. Like yeah, this is worth over it. with. What we used to do in a like, um, high school, like freshman year is they'd sell sodas. So we'd all shake them up and we'd all stand in a circle and we'd throw it up in a circle and land it in the middle and whoever it exploded on just had to go to class covered in soda. <laughs> That's a fun game too. <laughs> That's a fun game. Yeah. You try that. I like those stakes. <laughs> um, also, happy birthday to Trader um, Edward Snowden. Damn. Oh, yeah. I did hear Trader. about Trader. These are some heady, heavy hitter birthdays so yeah. far. This, guy, this guy betrayed oh, our Stone, country. We were playing last night. He came up. Yeah. I was like, why was Edward Snowden fresh in my memory? We didn't know it was his birthday today. No. Um, Happy what, birthday! Are you on Team know. Edward or no? I'm not really familiar with the case, so I'm not. Choose gonna... yes or no. Whose side are you on? I'm with Team Edward. Oh, interesting. If you get kicked so out, so you US, hate the government. I hate the strong. So word. you think the government should be held accountable for their bad actions? <laughs> yes. Hmm, interesting. I'm what team, about you? I'm Team Edward too. All right. You team government? 
Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> just, just, just in case they're listening. I do oh, love, definitely listen to this one. I do love the government. Uh, oh, yeah, anytime I saw yeah, it. Yeah, 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 I'm like, hey, I'm getting you more views. They're listening to this live. <laughs> yeah, 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 they're just making sure. Tuned in. Uh, just so you know, government, it is the Olympic time, so I'm actually team government until, hey. until August 8th. Until yeah. the end of the fucking Olympics. Yep. Yep. USA, baby. All the way. I hate the people that like even bum, when we're bum, winning in the Olympics. Bum, bum, bum. They still try and like, it's, guys, this is like the only time we have to celebrate our country. Yeah, it's, really. the, it's the one thing that everyone has together. It's yeah. the only unifying thing we have. It's a you bunch gotta. of different looking people in America too. Like this shit's awesome. Yeah. You know what else I learned? Mostly um, black, but yeah. What's the guy's name who put the fist up? Jesse Owens? Mm-hmm. No. Jesse Owens was a very different person oh. than the guy who put the fist up. Who's the guy who no, put uh, the fist up? Uh, that was John Carlos. Yes. John Carlos? Mm-hmm. That was his name? Mm-hmm. Jesse mentioned? Owens just beat the shit out of Hitler. Yeah. He whooped his ass. Hitler? Yeah, he fucked him up. Well, well his anyways, country, the, 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 black fist, the black fist guy, you know they sent him home. And they took his medal away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they, they didn't uh, teach me that part. Colin Kaepernick yeah. still doesn't have a job. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. <laughs> consistent and the, theme here. And the Australian guy, um, they took his medal away too because he wore a pin in support oh, and of I, the guys. Yeah. Give me more medal back. Yeah. These two black fellas just gave then, me a yeah, pin, told me to wear it. And they, then the, the they don't really teach you the full story sometimes for uh, some reason. <laughs> John Carlos and the other guy were the pallbearers to the Australian guys. Aww. Um, oh, know. that's sweet. Mm. Just the two of them. Uh, yeah, they were really strong. Well, They're Olympic gold medalists. So. Very strong. <laughs> <laughs> Um, That's a weird way to make a friend. For wait, life. Je- Jesse Owens actually beat up Hitler? No, he didn't actually fight Hitler, <laughs> oh. but he just fucked up all the Germans. But he could absolutely <laughs> destroy Hitler in a fight. I- also, <laughs> Olympic community, maybe not the best time to have the Olympics in Germany. <laughs> for real. <laughs> Hitler kind of sucks, huh? Yeah, not a great guy. Um, no, you had some very positive things to say you about told him a couple me you weeks like, ago. You, <laughs> I did? Yeah. What did I say? You were trying to uh, rationalize how uh, if... Uh, humans are like a cancer to the earth. Oh, that he's actually Hitler was actually good guy. Yeah. because he was killing the most cancer. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of true still. Uh, but we decided that it's wrong that he picked a certain group. He should yes. have just killed it everyone. Just yeah. if, he would have been a good guy if he just killed indiscriminately. Earthly mm-hmm. genocide. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kill everyone. Start with yourself. He if you're going to kill someone, start with yourself. But then you can't kill the other people. Unless you have a bomb inside yourself. Mm. I don't think I would that only goes off when you die. Suicide bombing. Okay. On, okay. Yeah, right now, okay. Yeah. Let's just let's <laughs> hold up a bit. Well, the I Joker's know here. We're excited. The let's jo- just roll this back a The Joker bit. had a bomb in him. Remember? Maybe not the best role model. He? So no, he's, he put a bomb in a different guy. In a different guy. A fat yeah. guy. Yeah. He's like, oh, hell, no. And then he blew up in jail. Yeah. We should watch that again. That was a great movie. <laughs> Remember last Remember? time you watched that? Yeah, I was having sex. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't stop watching the movie. I kept quoting the movie while I was having sex. Yeah, you can't put on a, a, like a great movie during sex. That's a, a bad, that's a bad, that's a bad thing. You can't just put on a horrible movie during sex. It's the first thing, that, the first thing no. that popped up on Netflix. There's always just got to be an episode of Office. Which I like is that much a lot harder. too, though. Yeah. It's, no, it's also be, easily quotable. You, you got to go with like, there's there's something in the Oz. top. There's something. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's got to be one of the bullshit like there, happy. There's something in the top 10 that you can just put on that's good background noise. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Manifest. But also, yeah, I do got to watch that. Also, um, but you don't. You can have sex with that easily and not miss anything. Just put on music, maybe. Yeah, music's good, right? Music videos. But I. But the thing with music is, if you put on music and fuck a girl, then she's like, I think he likes me. I don't know if that's the case. Isn't music like hella romantic? No, daytime sex is hella romantic. If you put on music, she's like, I think he people have want sex to in the daytime. <laughs> yeah, it's romantic. How do you make the room dark? <laughs> <laughs> you never do like morning sex. Um. Yeah, but M O U R. <laughs> um. Yeah, but I mean, like at 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 dawn or whatever. Oh, we talked about this yesterday. What do you like more, dawn or dusk? Ooh, I'm gonna say dusk. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm too. a dusk guy. Yeah, dawn is like well, either I've been I up way too barely late ever or see dawn. What's going on here? Yeah, I see dawn enough. There's no dusk dish soap. So, um. Also, have you worked at Jesse Smollett? Damn, we're just heavy hitter after heavy hitter. Got anything to say about that guy? Uh, yeah, he used to come into my weed store all the time back when I was uh, working up in Studio City. Wait, nice. can you? It was like right before Empire. Did you pay too. in a check? <laughs> <laughs> can you pull up the pictures of the guys who actually quote unquote beat him up? Yes, the the Nigerians. The Nigerians. It's just like it's so funny. It's like, what are you thinking? You couldn't even pay white guys. <laughs> Uh, they, yeah. they do cost more. Or or find a couple to do it for free. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. These guys are also, like, ripped. These, these guys look like Olympic athletes. They have, like, six packs, huge packs. Let me see. Um, they both filed for bankruptcy after. Oh, my God. Those guys are genuine. Well, yeah. It's like, where are they going to work in Hollywood? 
<laughs> yeah. They're kind of known were as the guys. Were they actors? Is that what they were? No, they're st- I think they're like stuntmen. Stunt they were oh, on the set. Word. Yeah. I mean, they oh, that's like stunt where he men. met them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also just think it's just so funny that oh, he's Nigerian. Thing. Like, of all people to be doing, like, a very scammy thing. He yeah. stereotypical with that, <laughs> yeah. too. Yeah. He's the racist. Yeah, the whole story. What did he say? I'm the black... I'm the... What? I'm the gay Tupac? What did he say? He said something? I'm the, <laughs> I'm the next Tupac? Is he in jail? As if Tupac wasn't gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if you go to jail for that. For fraud? Yeah, I think you go to jail for that. Um, I don't know. He's probably like rich enough where he could probably avoid jail time. Yeah, I agree with you. But he's like, I mean, that's like, that's definitely something. You can't like make up a police investigation. Yeah, falsely. like you're just yeah. wasting everyone's time. Also, come up with quite possibly the worst. I mean, story white of women all time. do it all the time. But yeah, but they can get their way. They're allowed. Yeah. They're allowed to. They were that's, scared. Yeah, he yeah. like did some fucking real shit. Doesn't look like he had jail time. No, that's that. That's that white privilege that they can have, but <laughs> for some reason we can't complain about. <laughs> because they sexist. do it so quickly on site yeah, this yeah, was yeah. clearly a lot more you know <laughs> it took him a lot longer to do it wow what a crazy uh thing yeah but shout out to him though he was always a very nice uh yeah guy to come into the wheat shop clearly uh clearly uh no didn't help the writing crew at all at what was the empire, empire? power empire? yeah oh, empire just no, like bro, empire so much worse than power what, just the worst cover story of all time was empire which one's on network television empire and powers on like showtime or something yes no uh stars which one? Stars. Which one is Terrence? Empire. Empire. Okay. That's the one that Justin's on. Yeah. Okay. The first show, the first episode of that show. Who's on Power? Who's the main guy on Power? 50 Cent produced it, but it's like, uh, I forget his name. I forget all their names, actually. <laughs> what's it's very, very forgetful. What's the <laughs> Empire's name? Terrence what? What's Terrence his name? Howard. And, Terrence uh, Howard. And, uh, Raji P. Moore. Henson? Raji P. Henson. Henson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow, no, wow. I'm, I'm fucked up with names. I'm kind of high. I'm not going to lie. Remember the PJs? Man. Yeah, I love that show. Good show. With Eddie uh, Murphy? Yeah. And Smokey the Crackhead? And finally, happy birthday, Chris Pratt. Jeez. Yeah. Not one, like, person that we went, who? Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, big big boys today. Um, it's, it, can't be a co- a- it can't be a coincidence that the summer solstice is all, like, big boys. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, there's, there's, there's something yeah. to do with the energy of the world. And well, it's the longest day. Yeah. So, it's you're, very you're, first signs of you. you're already more mature than mm-hmm. everyone else because your day is mm-hmm. longer when you're born. Who you taking? Rebecca Black, Jesse Smollett, Edward Snowden. Ooh. Or Chris Pratt. Or Chris Pratt. Damn, that's hard. Good God. Okay, so I think Chris Pratt and Edward Snowden would just get into like a conversation about conspiracies over on the side. And that would give you, you think Pratt's Smollett. a conspiracy guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, word? Yeah, I think so. He, that's a, a fucking uh, Captain, or not Captain America. He's the Marvel one, right? Yeah. Gal- oh, Guardians Chris, of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's a conspiracy guy. I wouldn't be surprised. He takes me as a little conspiracy guy. He seems so normal and down to earth. Yeah, he's an actor. Yeah, true. <laughs> true. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how how normal and down to earth you can be if you're like a world famous blockbuster actor. Yeah. Ooh, so let me finish the scenario. Who's in the Avengers? Yeah. Yeah. So they go off and, and bro up in the corner and start talking about conspiracies, which yeah. gives Jesse Smollett enough time to get the Nigerians well, dude yeah. to fucking knock them out. He comes with. But then them. Rebecca Black starts singing, and the gayness and Jesse Smollett takes over, and he just thinks about how cute that is, and then she just sneakily kills him. So I'm taking Rebecca Black. Allegedly kills him. Yes. Turns out. It was the Nigerian uh, dude. <laughs> um, yeah. And, and if the fight's in America, Edward Snowden can't come. So True. That's, that's a good, good point. point. He's already good out. Point. And I don't think he can fight. No, but he can hack. Uh, yeah. Sure. Um, but, I, but none of them are robots. Chris Pratt's a little robot Yeah, maybe. I like what Snowden did, but I don't think I'd ever want to hang out with him. No. Right. He doesn't seem like a fun guy to like. Hello. Yeah. That's how I imagine he talks. Hello. Watch music videos with. Um, Can you put on the... Temp- I'm trying to think of a nerdy band. I almost said the Temptations. Almost popular music group ever. And not nerdy at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool as fuck, actually. Um, who would be the nerdiest band? Uh, It's like Tool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, kind of. Tool's pretty nerdy. Or fucking like Led Zeppelin and shit. Led Zeppelin's not nerdy, though. Um, it's like for old people. I think, I think Pratt puts up a better fight than you think, though. I think he gets distracted easily by Snowden. Yeah, but I yeah I think it's I think it's yeah I'll I'll say Rebecca Black too. I agree <laughs> with that. Hell yeah. Yeah, I want I want Rebecca Black immediately. If she can, if she can withstand bullying from an entire yeah. country plus an entire world mm-hmm. and come out the way she did. Well, Jesse Smile is black and gay, and he like went outsourced bullying. Yeah, he needed some more. So he wasn't getting bullied enough too. though. He had yeah. to fabricate bullying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this bitch was fourteen. 
getting yeah, mocked he, by the world. He had like a weird hero complex thing yeah. going on. She was just trying to have fun with her friends. And yeah. Jesse Smollett's going to be and, wowed by her singing. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and she, she's like hot now. She's yeah, like, I just look at the picture. She's very attractive. She rules, and she's like funny on TikTok. She's very uh, make fun of herself. She's very self aware. Yeah, which rules, which is you know when you have an experience like that, you either become super self aware or you just lose Britney it completely. Spears. Yeah, Kesha. yeah, yeah. Did Kesha lose it? Yeah, I think she's back now though. I don't know. She's friends with Whitney. I have no idea. I like Kesha. I've always liked Kesha. Not really her music, but I like her vibe. I thought she was cool. Yeah. TikTok's my shit. I like that song. TikTok, TikTok on the clock. I don't really like it that much on all the words, but um, she brushes her and teeth Timber? with Timber Jack goes Daniels hard. or whatever. Yeah. Wake up in the morning feeling, feeling like P. Diddy. Diddy. That's a great line. Yeah. That's a great line. <laughs> it's, it's a great song like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a good. It's a, it'll grab you. Um, we did ketamine last night. Really? Yeah. yeah. You want to talk real? about it? Yeah, it was. Uh, it was. It was. It's the. F- so we, yeah, we get home and and um, <laughs> people people are chilling here, and uh, we're you know we got to turn the lights off, turn some music on, whatever, and then fucking G sauce comes out, yeah. with a little plate, and he's like, "You guys want to do ketamine?" <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I guess. And I was like, I've never done anything up the nose, and this is a this is this is a, this you is you guys the first are crossing new uh, shit yeah. hurts. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah ketamine's kind of harsh. Um, it was it was a lot. Yeah, yeah. Has- Hassan had some spiritual moments. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't know if you ever want to do a lot of ketamine, yeah. but no, I think we, I'm, we didn't do too much. We didn't do it too much. I no. said just the whole experience was a lot. Yeah, it's yeah. a disassociative. Yes, that was a great way to describe it. So, so it's oh, wow. like, yeah, I don't know, th- things will get like really wavy and stuff in front of you, and your body feels all slow, and you'll kind of be talking slow and shit. But I'm glad I did it. I feel like yeah, I'm in fun. a better headspace. Yeah, because of it, it was fun. At one point, didn't I go, hey, isn't, what did I say? I said, oh, yeah. Hey, isn't life living life the best thing ever? I just said that. <laughs> hey, he was going through it. Yeah. I'll tell you what, that's a good drug. <laughs> so far. You so come funny. to that conclusion, yeah. and it's like a uh, surprise to you. Yeah. We're, we're so, did you guys ever consider that living life is the best thing ever? Like, yeah, you're having a good trip. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> I never thought about that. We're also just like sitting dancing, and Asan just all of a sudden reaches in his pocket and throws his phone. He's like, I feel disgusting. I, I, my phone was touching me. I couldn't have my phone touch me. Anymore. Yeah, it felt like I had a pair side on my body yeah. you do yeah <laughs> and then we talked about that for a while yeah fun yeah. time my question is though um because i was trying to get graham to explain to me he because he played pink pink floyd and led zeppelin Ooh. Mm-hmm. pink floyd's so good. and i just don't you don't like feel pink floyd. It. you gotta experience pink floyd that's like what everyone pink says floyd but i've out. how do you yeah bro more than lane than being on ketamine and listening so to watch it? dark side of the moon or the wall you didn't watch th- it yeah there's a movie the wall's a movie yeah the Wizard of Oz thing? No. Oh. It's, well, I mean, yeah, there's a thing you could sync up the wall in the Wizard of Oz, and some, but just watch it. Okay. You it's feel awesome. super connected to listening to Comfortably Numb? While yeah, bro. Like, like dude, whoa, what? Bro. We're all on what the couch. Ah, you just fucking, oh, come on. We're <laughs> all on the couch not moving, and some guy is singing about being comfortably numb. And that's just perfectly describes the For someone that, that likes music so much, you just got to feel that shit. Like, really listen to the instruments. Like, what they're that's doing the thing I don't. I don't feel Yeah, but it. I, like, I don't know how. See, I think I told you this yesterday. That's what I was trying to get. I was like, Graham, will you explain to me what, like, where it hits you and, and where you feel it? You got to listen to strings because it's mimicking a voice. And then you listen to the words, like, complimenting the strings with all these, like, just raging, crescendoing drums behind it. Like, that shit's awesome. Yeah. I mean, li- when I listen to it, I can tell it's, like, powerful, beautiful music. Yeah. But I, it just doesn't get me deep down the way the other music does. Damn. I feel bad for you, man. I know. I kind of want it to. Everyone says it's fucking incredible. Yeah, like, so you were just listening to Pink Floyd, having yeah, like a so great I, time. I don't listen to a lot of music, but like, yeah. the, so when you put on the Pink Floyd, I felt that in my skin. Yeah. yeah. Like my, it, my, it, I felt like my like soul was vibrating. It so was just hitting the me. The thing about Pink Floyd too is the way that they use space. Like, you know what I mean? Like everything's kind of spaced out. Nothing like they're not giving you too many beats per minute. Like, like in like the middle of like, I don't know music terms, but like the way they use space, it's so spaced out. And like, they just let shit breathe, dude. Uh, yeah. And you really just got to like, take it in. Yeah. Just like rock, rock with it. Very, there is no time. There is no way. <laughs> when we had the, when we had the Floyd on, I felt like I was just like, Floating in the feeling, yeah. And I was in. I when the Led Zeppelin was on, I felt nothing. Yeah, no, Led Zeppelin's way different. Led yeah. Zeppelin's more like fucking in your face. Here's a badass guitar I, I player. Here's the best drummer ever. I definitely like resonate with fucking crazy good voice. Pink Floyd way more than Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Um, that was just I don't know. Good. It's fun. Play a I couple like Beatles songs too, and it's like these are these are good, but it doesn't like Pink Floyd. I don't know. I want the fucking. I think you I would like. I think it. you would like the Who. Who the Who? <laughs> oh, okay. But, uh, uh, as far as like those classic rock bands go, because it's like very rock opera. Yeah, yeah, you would fuck with that. Well, I was also um, last night. I was like, um, like I grew up with like Red Hot Chili Peppers and Linkin Park and shit, mm-hmm. where it's like real heavy bass lines and it's real yeah. like deep. 
And a lot of that old guitar stuff is... It, Pink Floyd has super heavy bass lines. Not, not like groovy bass lines, though. Okay. You know what I mean? Saying. And yeah. that... that what, like, when I think about the music I like, a, a lot of it is the, the groovy, you know, mm-hmm. the... You want to dance or something. Yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah, you don't dance before. Yeah, no, you that's just not sit a, there and just like, uh, like just and like, take it in. I, I don't like that feeling. It's awesome, man. It's so much fun. Comfortably numb? No. I went to go see, it was like an all-star cover Turn band. Turn the beat was, around. Yeah, that's awesome. Let's do ketamine and listen to that. <laughs> that's cocaine. <laughs> that's, 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 that's <laughs> good. Turn it upside down. We ate like a bunch of mushrooms. I went down st- downtown. It's like this big, like immersive, like art dome. They had like a Pink Floyd cover band. They did uh, fucking... Dark Side of the Moon from Beginning to End. It's like 46 minutes. It was fucking amazing. Uh, mm. You just sitting there listening to all these instruments and it's all this trippy shit on this dome being projected. Like, it was fucking sick. No one danced at all. You just sit there. No, like, it's, uh-huh, not, yeah. it's definitely not dancing. Maybe music. when money comes on, you like kind of shake your head a little bit. That's a pretty groovy song, actually. Money! I do like that song. Mm-hmm. But you're also, I feel like with Pink Floyd, you're also like, dude, what is he? St- like, you're like so in tune to what he's talking about. Yeah. That you're not like, ooh, let me dance. You know what I mean? When yeah. You're yeah. Dancing is You're just like, sitting there feeling that shit. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, but I've never really cared about words either. So that's fair. That's why you like dance yeah, music. Yeah, you had a good night. Dance a music, great night actually. Yeah, I was hanging out with words. you guys till like about one thirty, and then you just came home. And yeah, that was, was really five a.m. That would have been my favorite part of the night. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's like, oh, you guys are doing K and listening to Pink Floyd. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she called me, be like, hey, Morgan, we're gonna come get you. I mean, it was so unexpected. Yeah. I thought we were gonna come home and go to bed. Yeah, yeah. just like there's we, a we got home of drugs. At, we got home at two o'clock, not expecting people to be up and about, yeah. and yeah. they were up and about. Yeah, yeah. That would have been the best phone call ever as I'm laying down. Do you want to come over and listen <laughs> yeah. to Pink Floyd? You, okay, yeah, I'm going to figure it out right now. <laughs> I'll drive. I can't fucking walk, but I'll get there, dude. It sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, it was a good time. Damn, um, Yeah, had some nice conversations. Yeah, good. Uh, uh, just living life. Yeah. That's, that's, that's nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's, it turns out it's awesome. How dope it is. <laughs> yeah. How awesome it is to live life. That's great. That's amazing. Yeah, bro. Who wouldn't want to be us? Oop. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, I mean, what else? I mean, that was the sort of the big. Well, what sort of what big else is there to talk about? Big. Yeah, I, got, I, got, I mean, I don't know. What can top doing K? I, what's the best animal noise you how, could do? How dangerous a horse or a turkey? I, I can do, do a pretty good turkey. horse too. What's, is, is K dangerous? Well, I mean, it's animal tranquilizer, so you definitely don't want to take too much of it. Yeah, but do. And also, but like K kind of shuts you down too. Do people put like fentanyl in it and shit? No, I mean, uh, probably. Probably. I yeah. mean, people do everything with drugs. Yeah. Right? But, I'll, I'll yeah, tell you I'm gonna say definitely people put fat on because here's my thing I went from being 100% terrified of drugs and now I do them that I'm like I, th- I think I should be a little more scared than I am um certain but drugs. I also don't yeah I'm also like because if somebody offers me drugs I'm gonna do them now you know what I mean welcome <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's like a dangerous thing yeah, but you don't do like the strangers. Drugs, uh, it, it depends I feel like it, you got to know where your uh, yeah. know where your line is because I don't think I'd ever do coke. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm pretty certain. Hell no. About that. Especially well, if you gotta do the nose night, shit. Know. Well, well, that's fair. I, I would say knowingly. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> I did think about that. I was like, what if this is Coke? <laughs> oh, you would have known. But that's also a very Cokey thought. Yeah. Until um, you're like, bong. Well, actually, I don't know. Fucking Pink Floyd didn't hit you at all. Maybe they slip you something. <laughs> 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 like, swear, Turn the beat around. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> it was interesting. Me and Graham were chilling out listening to Pink Floyd, and then uh, Matt was just going over his business ideas. And we're like, <laughs> We gotta do this. We gotta do this. We gotta do this. Yeah. Went outside and did some jump rope for a little bit. Yeah, Kay's oh. weird, bro. <laughs> we just, uh, Why are you guys so tired? Yeah. Do you have to snort it? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yikes! Would they make horses snort it? No, they. Just, I mean, yeah, sure. If you want to inject it, but I think that's a little slippery slope. What? What animal would be the most fun to do Molly with? Chimp. No, no oh my God, they're scary, no. Yeah. bro. No, not happy chimp. Like a chimp a, that's just like all happy up and nah, because they no. get like real emotional. And like I think a dolphin. No, a dog. dolphin like on their home territory. To get yeah, it's just, that's yeah. too aggressive. Be horny. Uh, no, a dog would be pretty horny too. Wait, can you swim on Molly? Yeah. Or do you just like hug the water and drown? <laughs> You've done it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> For about 14 that, hours. That was in a shallow end though. I'd, I'd imagine. I mean, like the ocean. I'd imagine you'd want something like a koala or a sloth, something a very huggy oh, animal. Sloth. Sloths freak me out, bro. Why? They have those big ass claws. They do have big claws. But, yeah, and it's like, I know it's moving slow, but like slow. any chance it could just be like, nope, swipe, no face. But, but col- it would be like this. <laughs> but yeah, but what if it didn't always have to move that slow? What if they're just doing like a really long con to how, make us think that they move slow? How funny is the bit in Zootopia where the sloths work oh, at the, the DMV? DMV. Yeah, it's fucking hilarious. That was the, Classic. That was the trailer. Yeah. It was just that scene. And I was like, I need to see this movie. So, yeah. so good. Yeah. Really good. And that movie made me love cops again. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what were we talking about? Oh, um, 
Best animal to do Molly with. Yeah. So it's got to be a mammal, right? Yeah. You could say that. You don't want no scaly shit. No, no, no. no, no. no. I'm thinking like maybe like a, a ferret or something. Oh, no, no, but no. Not, but I'm thinking like no. that size. Maybe not a ferret, like a guinea pig. Oh, something sh- like cuddles baby. a little bit. No, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of ferrets. I mean, yeah, I'm just thinking something smaller, though. Because a mm. dog would be too horny or too I'm saying Maybe a small dog. I'm saying koala, dude. I think a koala would be. Yeah, they'd be cuddly, bro. They'd be yeah. cuddly and the, they don't have the claws. What about a kangaroo? Nah. Nah, man, you don't want to. Because if they freak out, they got the claws on their feet, too. They could just disembowel you. They could also fucking box, box. you. Okay, and so they're jacked. Well, yeah. this, <laughs> the best animal to have a you good. You never want to be with a jack guy. The best animal body. to have a good trip with. An elephant, maybe. Ooh! If elephant's in like a good mood, and he's like, "Yeah, just picks you up with like his trunk, and just uh, like, goes you up here, just and now you're just like, you, bro? Mouth, yeah." Oh, uh, or um, a birds who sing. That'd be, I'd cool. be like, "This fucking song <laughs> rips." <laughs> tweet, 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 tweet. Remember Rock and Robin? Rock and Robin. Is that Michael Jackson? Oh, I think so. I think nah. It's like Fats. Feels like Little, or Brid- Little Richard. Oh, maybe or Fats Domino. Rock and Robin. Look it up. Rock and Robin. What's the best animal song you could do? Uh, a horse. Do it. Oh, you don't do the nay. That's pretty good. Did, did you ask that question just so you could do that? I wrote this down a month ago. Oh. <laughs> just never brought it up. Try a nay, though. It's not, a, it's not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I can do a turkey. So, what's the best animal noise you could do? A poor person? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Big Homie Podcast. <laughs> not funny. I'll give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I, I'm not good with do a koala. I, do koalas even make noises? <laughs> I'm a koala. <laughs> it's like Pokemon. Koala, koala, koala. Rock and Robin by Bobby Day. Bobby Day. Mm. Not related to Bob Knight. No, but Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson did do a cover of it in 1972. See? Uh, when he was young. Yeah. Little I, and now I can hear that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My that- dad my dad used to have this CD called The Best of Jukebox Rock or something, and it had like Tutti Fruity and that song. And it's the only CD my dad ever owned, I think. Really? Yeah. He used to listen to Radio Static. My dad listens to pretty <laughs> fucking terrible CDs, too. He has a CD. No, this was a good CD. Oh, he has a CD. It's just like a jazz cover of like contemporary songs. I'd be like, okay, how do you know this? Sucks. I'd be like, that's Miguel. <laughs> like, that's <laughs> so funny. It's the, like the best song ever. The only song my dad has ever bought off iTunes <laughs> is Mirrors by Justin Timberlake. It's pretty fire. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, man. Wait, pretty t- decent choice. <laughs> tell, tell your joke about your dad and Dolly Parton. Oh, I don't got to tell the actual joke, but no, he loves Dolly Parton. He loves Dolly Parton. How funny. Who, yeah, who wouldn't? Yeah, yeah, his, so, his tiny little dad. Yeah, I mean, it's very hard. He has like a shrine like his basement. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, yeah. The, 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 <laughs> this was Dolly in 76. He, he collects <laughs> Dolly Parton and memorabilia. <laughs> and the, the, the joke is, because uh, he moved to America and fell in love with Dolly Parton, so the joke is he didn't even know she sang for the first couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> Big titties. Yeah. She has the international I, I was titties. thinking that too. I was like, yeah. oh, yeah. She he moved to America. <laughs> she, <laughs> That's on TV. she rules. Yeah. She's awesome. Yeah. Was that us that was talking about it? No, no. I was talking about this with someone. Re- oh, um, when I went down to San Diego. Yeah, Dolly Parton is like one of the bro. She's the one white lady that all black people like. It's like her and Betty White, and all white people like her. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, other, yeah, yeah. <laughs> other, other, the other. Box. I mean, it's his fucking dad's favorite singer. Yeah. You know. Yeah, my dad loved Dolly Parton, Bee Gees, and ABBA. Yeah, your dad. ABBA like rips, dude. Yeah. ABBA <laughs> has like genuinely six songs you could put on at a wedding, and that, they all go hard. Yeah, I every single that. one. Your dad was doing ketamine back in the day. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe more love thing guy, but he was feeling something. Let me tell you. Yeah, Abba's so good. Yeah, there's some Bee Gees, Ab- Bee Gees? Da- the Bee Gees, Abba, and Dolly Parton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that guy likes to party. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's turning up for sure. He'd be on my team. One day. He's got some stories for you, dude. <laughs> He'd be on my team for sure. He'd be like, fuck Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Some yeah. Tina Turner. Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> He had the CD with a bunch of Michael Bolton songs. Not a CD, a tape with a bunch of Michael Bolton what? songs. That was good. Bolton or Sue. What? Is there a host of the new celebrity dating game? What's the. Uh, really? Yeah. You, you, good for him. Yeah, you know how you want to watch Celebrity dating game? TV yeah, I watched a little bit of it the other night. Are they going to date? No, they. it's like celebrities and they're just dating like regular people. Regular people. But they're not going to stay with them. Maybe. It's just a silly goose show. Yeah. Love is love. Um, was it good? Hey, love is love. Was it good? No. I yeah. watched. I was staring at my phone the whole time I was Same. on. I think I put it on for my mom. Shut up! I didn't say anything. <laughs> I know, but the, you, uh, you were, the wheels were turning. I, 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 I watched the new Dwayne Wade show. It's pretty bad. The was, Cube. It's awful. Oh, yeah. it is. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Damn. Yeah. Why? What is it? Well, so 
the, the challenges are like whatever. They're not that interesting to watch. They're like these fun little games, yeah. which is fine. If the show was like 20 minutes and they just played game after game after game, you'd be like, oh, this is not bad. Yeah. But they take 20 minutes of content, stretch it out to an hour. Yeah. So there's a commercial break every like five minutes, yeah. right? And it's the same games for pretty much everybody. And the sort of selling point of it is like, oh, if you're in trouble, Dwayne Wade will come in the cube and help you. Okay. But there's not, he doesn't, he, the first episode, he didn't do it. Or at least the first 40 minutes, he didn't do it. And I was yeah. like, well, I'm not going to watch any of this. Yeah. yeah. I want to see Dwayne Wade. Yeah. I want to see Dwayne Wade. That's the issue with all these, like even it kind of started with deal or no deal where it was like, I like this concept. It'd be fun, mm -hmm. but they, it takes so long. long. Pay off here. Right. Just do it. Right. That's why British shows are way better. Cause it's just like, they'll, they'll get the content out of having a better show. Right. A better competition. Well, isn't like Dwayne Wade, like he's just trying to like make it more stressful too. Kind of. Or is he just so. like cool the whole time? He's just kind of cool the whole time. Yeah. He's being Dwayne. He's like, he's like, he, he's like a rookie at a, being a host. So it's yeah. like fun to watch him like figure out. Cause I think uh, I was watching. I was like, oh, I think he can be a great host. This oh, is just, really? This is just a bad, like yeah, this is bad. He's got tons of personality. Yes. This yeah, but he's not like charismatic though. I think you know he is. I, mean? I think he's too cool for that. I think he can be. Maybe, okay. I think he can be. He has to, he, I think he, to be like, to get to the next level of hosting, he has to do something where I think he has to be okay with looking like a fool. Right. Okay. He can and, laugh at himself. Yeah. A little more okay. shack in him. And that, that game, there's potential there because the games are so silly yeah. and there is like a chance that he won't be able to do them because they're just, some of them are just so random. Yeah. But it, like I said, it's just not that good. Um, he needs another vehicle. What was the last great TV game show? I mean, when Who Wants to Be a Millionaire was in its prime, that shit was incredible. Is in the challenge a game show? Incredible. No, that's a reality competition. Okay. okay. That's um, different. I mean, Price is Right, Jeopardy, Wheel well, of I mean, Fortune, all the classics. Well, I mean, there's generations of all these things, right? Yeah. So I say the, it's like Steve Harvey when he took over uh, Family, Family Feud. Steve yeah. Harvey Family Feud is good. Ken Jennings' Jeopardy was like yeah. up there as far as like greatest. But it's like, what, what new concept? Weakest Link was fun, when it, like the OG one before. Yeah. She was mean. Yeah. Mm. I watched one where it's like these people are trying to win money and they're doing it together, but one person's kind of like an imposter and trying to fuck them over. And it's like, this has so much potential, but just wasn't good. The Mole? That's no, not not the, it wasn't The Mole. It's like on a ABC. YouTube one, right? No, oh. it's on ABC now. Oh, interesting. I forgot what it's called. It's like Yeah, a, stuff like that is fun. Yeah, but it's not good. There is a series on YouTube. because I, I play so much Mafia and fucking Among Us. Right. right. Um, there's a series on YouTube that I've never watched, but I understand the concept is like they put like eight people together they're all the same thing except one of them who's an imposter and they have to figure out who it is to win money kind of the idea so it's like so like eight nurses they go, they go you're all software out. developers yeah one what's of it, you is what's it called i have no idea okay <laughs> so not that great <laughs> pretty popular on youtube i've never watched it but oh, i've like seen clips or whatever clips from it. okay it looks interesting um but yeah we just we need more game shows I mean, I, I feel like game shows are going to, like, those overproduced game shows. This is another thing. I'm watching the, the Cube or whatever. It's, like, so overproduced. Yeah. It's, like, mm -hmm. it's not going to be as fun as watching these people on Twitch I don't know play a game. Right. Yeah. You know, and, and like, everyone on the game, everyone on the Cube was just this, like, weird, super L.A. couple. Where yeah. it's, like, none of, you don't look like real people. You don't yeah. talk like real people. Your relationship seems super fake. Yeah. Right. Like, so it's like, it's just not good. It's just not good TV. People like yeah. real stuff. That's, a, that's the thing I think they're missing too, is like a lot of people are, are interested in the gameplay and they just don't care about that. That's like their fifth priority. No, yeah. they're just like making TV. How it looks and yeah. who's hosting and all that shit. It's and like, the story of the kid. It's like, I don't yeah. need to know. Let's go to their house and see who who's the, died recently. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Who's no, play the yeah. fucking game. Have you guys ever done the game show? Um, no. 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 I was on Idiot I was on test. Idiot Test. Hosted by Ben Glebe. Oh yeah, you were too. Not Have sure. I told you the story? Uh, former former presidential candidate, Ben. Former Cleave. presidential candidate and recent birthday party haver. Oh yeah, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You've seen a lot of Instagram stories of people at his birthday party. Yeah. Um, how was idiot test? One of my friends was on. Uh, it too. Well, I was just saying to your point about how they have all these fake LA relationships. It was like me and a dude I work with who was supposed to be best friends. I haven't talked to him for like four years. <laughs> yeah, right. We like, want money, but yeah, we should try for those game shows though. We should try to get on. Yeah. Cause I think you can just want some cash or whatever. Yeah, yeah. we should all and go think, on. We yeah. should we should try to be the Verzi triplets. Like, oh, that'd be fun. Wow. Yeah. Or as lava. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was a good game on. I think we watched on Netflix. Um, where they the circle? No, you don't sleep for like twenty four hours. I've heard of it. And this. they make you like count a bunch of shit and do these. Oh, I know. Silly I know. I remember. I remember that. Just like fucking their brains don't work. Yeah, that'd be kind of fun. fun. You should do a game where you just give everybody ketamine and then ask them to do the same task listen to yeah whoever can listen. describe pink floyd the best <laughs> <laughs> we have a good game show but we're not gonna say it on air we're not yeah so take that yeah bitch <laughs> stay tuned <laughs> it'll be out in the next six or seven years <laughs> yeah. give or take we actually have a couple ideas if anyone has a lot of money 
talk to us. Yeah, let us know. We can make you more money. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. We can we can make something cool. Um, if anyone has a lot of money and is willing to do this and lives in LA instead of San Diego. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Speaking of a lot of money on the update on your mom. Oh, yeah. Oh, you said speaking of a lot of money. Well, um, money. Speaking of she a left, living amount. She left. She went home. I haven't heard from her. <laughs> Still... Same amount of money I had when she was here. Um, <laughs> hey, mom, if you're listening, she asked me, she's like, do you want me to listen to your podcast? And I was like, obviously, no, it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> I've asked for money five five episodes in a row now. <laughs> um, yeah, I got nothing. Um, your mom just left too, right? Yeah, she left. My cousin was here for the weekend. Sad. She Shut up. She cooked me a bunch of oh, really good sad food. sad for you. You're going to miss her. It's not that sad. We were kind of working on each other's. You're not the nerves. only one that's going to miss her. See, that's what I'm saying. Don't do that. Someone else might miss her too. Who? Your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Papa. Yeah, Papa probably does a little bit. Me. Don't, don't, no. No? Bad. I didn't say nothing. She doesn't even like you. I, um, she said, who's your big friend? I was like, oh, Matt. Me? And she was like, yeah, he smells <laughs> funny. She said, who's your big friend? Yeah, that's just mm. funny. What, oh, what part was she talking about? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you walked into that. Yeah, dude. I know. Uh, that's not my favorite thing I did so far today. Then you'd actually have to call me daddy. <laughs> I have a dad. He's mm. at my house right now. Yeah, you can have two. I have two. I don't know. I can't. Dad and step dad. You can't get a new dad when you're 32. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. Yep. You just get some guy that your mom's talking to. Which Whoa. my mom's not talking to you because she's married to my dad. No, she doesn't do a lot of talk. Might be happily. I'm not sure. Most of the but time she's. Uh, shut up. Does she listen? <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, why are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think I know she doesn't like you, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, she likes me. Hey, your friend Matt, tell him to stop saying we have sex every <laughs> week. <laughs> I didn't say that. That's not what I was implying. Tell him to stop alluding to me. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> tell her to stop having sex with me then. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a two way thing. You know? Oh god. Um anything else you want to cover before fuck Mary Kill? Yeah. Sports. Oh my god. Oh, a, yeah. lot, a lot happened. <laughs> yeah. Quite let's a go bit. let's go back to Saturday first. Let's go back to two thousand eighteen. <laughs> Kevin Durant's gotta do something with that hair. Yeah, it's really bad. It's, it's um rough. Yeah, for someone as sensitive as he is, you'd think he would yeah. not be okay with no, that. I don't know any black athlete that would ever go on TV three or four times a week looking like that. He, yeah. He only thing he cares about is basketball. There it's was gotta a, be. Then the, the, there was a, uh, article on some porn star he went on a date with and she said he has no opinions on anything. All he, <laughs> th- all he cares about is basketball. So that makes sense, yeah. that's why he doesn't get his hair fixed. Hey, bro, you can have no opinions on anything and own a brush. Could, no, no, no. But it's <laughs> that's like, a, I mean, hey, you can. That's, I don't that's know if not even hey, an opinion. That's just a, you have a brush. I don't know. I, I don't know if you've tried to brush balding hair before, but it's a lot sadder than not brushing balding okay. hair. Okay. Uh, you know what? So, Kevin, <laughs> fair. I'll give you that. Kevin Durant's kind of like the Jeffrey Burner of basketball. Yes, that's the only yeah. thing he cares about is that wow. one thing. And then just uh, tunnel vision. Wow. That's why he's playing in the Olympics after, uh, immediately. The next yeah. day, he was like, I'm playing in the Olympics. Yeah. yeah. He wants the ball. He also, the my ball. thing with Kevin Durant's hair, he he has to have a personal barber because he always has like a pretty straight hairline, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That guy can't tell anybody else that he's KD's personal barber because he's going to lose business. Maybe the barber's just really short. <laughs> and all, all he can do is reach the, just the hairline. Oh, and that's no he idea. He has no you know idea. He's in the chair. Yeah. 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 Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, his hair's really bad. Yeah, it's not great. And he's got a whole offseason to think yeah. about it now. Uh, what else? Ben Simmons is a coward. Yeah. That was. Unbelievable! He's gonna get traded to the Knicks. No, he's not for Julius Randle. No, we're not gonna do that. Why do you? Th- why would you say that? We're I'm trading just, Julius for Zion. I'm helping you. What's what's uh? <laughs> Good luck. What's what, why do why do uh? I mean, besides Carmelo, what other big free agents have gone to the Knicks? Really? Like why? Just the, Carme- uh, Amari, why do, Amari. Amari. Okay, so like, why do the Knicks think they're gonna get every free agent when they've gotten <laughs> two in my lifetime? They're it's a, called hope, bro. They're a hopeful fan. They're base. a hopeful fan base, but if because uh, that shit's mad fun. When your team sucks for ten years, it's just bro, dropping yourself into getting la- the best player. Last year, he was like flipping us off, going Zion, KD, Kyrie, Zion, <laughs> KD, Kyrie. <laughs> But yeah, none but, of them. I was dead yeah, serious too. I know, I know, I know. But like, okay, so if you're a Lakers fan or a Celtics fan, you can have that. You can be like Zion, KD, Kyrie, because yeah. like, it's like a genuine possibility. With, with the, for the Knicks, it's not at all. Never, never is. Not at all. And when they when Here's free the agents do go there, they're not that good. We got yelled. We got uh, LeBron sold us a bag of goods that he was coming for a while. 
and then decide to do something did, else. Did he, so that's when it did, began. Did he ever feel like he was coming? Did, were you guys seriously like, oh, wait, Chris Bosh just signed with the Heat? No, before, no, 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 no. Some of you were. A little are. bit, a little bit, a little bit. Me kind of until, yeah, I, until, until, until I watched the press I conference. In, I was in New York during the decision. Everyone in that room thought he was going to the Knicks. And I was in there like, are you guys retarded? Yeah. Like, what are you, What what's going on? The answer on? to your question is yes. Yeah, we fair. are, for sure. <laughs> <But> <laughs> with that. Is it LeBron like bagels? <laughs> Shut up. It's not about liking bagels, bro. People do come to New York. Fuck you. They just go do that coward shit in Long Island. <laughs> Fucking Kyrie and KD. Don't get me started. But, uh, yeah. Well, also, Kyrie and KD were supposed to come to the Knicks. Until that fucking until they met the organization. Yeah, no, until, they, no, until they, they saw they didn't yeah, even get to meet on. him. It was DeAndre Jordan. He was like, "This ain't gonna work." Oh. And then they went to the Nets. Cowards. <laughs> they could have changed it. Cowards. Yeah, but this is about Ben Simmons right now. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Speaking of cowards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For real. Yeah. The Matt tries to say some shit about the Knicks. Be nice to him. Though. Be nice to him. No, I'm gonna be nice. To him. I feel guy. bad. I, I mean, I, it's clearly a mental thing. Yeah. 100. Yeah. percent Um, you know, it's. I mean, it's how old is he? 23. 24. It sucks that he's going through this mental thing and everyone's piling on him, but you know, I bet 30, shot, million, $30 million dollars yeah, probably makes shot, that make feel a shot. lot better. Yeah. yeah, just take a shot. And you know, it, if your job is to get $30 million to shoot the basketball, yeah. you should probably shoot the basketball. Shoot the ball. But to his, in his defense, he was like, hey, I can't shoot. And they were like, we'll give you $30 million anyway. And it's like, okay, but I don't shoot. But yeah. you give him, you, they, they gave, they gave you that. You can dunk. Yeah, yeah. Sure, no, for sure. That play is uh, fucking terrible. But they also gave you that with the, Understanding that you would improve your game, and regardless, yeah, even though he doesn't shoot any sort of jump shots, you can still the dude up until like the All Star break was like twenty seven points per game. Yeah. You can still go for layups. No, he's filthy. Go for dunks, or, or, or I don't know, move around when your team has the ball on offense yeah. instead yeah. of standing in one place when you're the point guard. And just being like, uh, I don't who, know what to do. Who yeah. says no? Ben Simmons for Markel Fault, straight up. <laughs> <laughs> they get him back. That'd be pretty good. I mean, he'll shoot. Is he still in the league? Yeah, yeah he plays for Orlando. He got hurt? Yeah. I think he tore his ACL. But he just signed a deal last year. Damn. I think it was like three years, 50 mil. I don't know what... Damn, Damn, son, bit, like, where'd you find this? I, I don't know what Philly's going to do. Who's yeah, going we'll to... Who wants this Ben Simmons? Who wants this version? Who wants this, this, version? Ben, uh, Simmons who wants this ben Simmons? Blazers. This version of Ben Simmons. Blazers. Kings. <laughs> for, I mean, what would the Blazers give up for Ben Simmons? Who would they trade? CJ McCollum. Yeah, I think, and I think Philly would do that. That's what everyone thinks. That's what everyone That's wants. That's what the internet's been saying. That's what everyone wants. That's like the only thing that kind of makes sense. Ben yeah. Simmons and Dame would be kind of fun, though. Well, yeah. Because, hey, you don't got to shoot now because yeah. this guy is just going to chuck them in the fourth quarter. Or like, pretty getting, high percentage. Or, but, like, why not a team like Utah or something? He, well, here's the... Well, because they have Gobert. Here's the problem with... Uh, uh, you can't have Gobert and Simmons on the floor at the same time. There's the, the, yeah, that's there's high with them. No... Get rid of Gobert. Zero there's space. no space in the, in the thing. Yeah. But, uh, like, so let's say Portland takes him. Gives it CJ. So now Dame is number one scoring option for sure, obviously. Yeah. Now you have an aging Carmelo. So you're hoping that his offense stays good as he ages, which you can't rely on. And then you've got rid of your number two scoring option. I don't think that's a good decision. Yeah, also, Port- but Portland's got to do something too. They yeah. do have to do we, something. We, we've gotten off of them because the Philly, the 76ers have just been this What about like Bradley yeah. Beal? For Ben Simmons? I mean, yeah, I don't think uh, I Washington, don't think Washington would do that. No. Yeah, he's not worth Bradley Beal at all. Yeah. yeah, they should have traded him last year. Yeah, they should have traded him for James Harden. Yeah, for sure. So funny. Um, it was like there was like Ben Simmons for Kyle Lowry. That was going. That yeah. would have been. Can you imagine if Kyle Lowry was on that team? Yeah, yeah. there is no sick. way. There's no way the Hawks take it to seven. No. Sucks being a coward. Crazy. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah. It doesn't look Sucks like a lot of fun. Being a coward. Just doesn't look like fun. Sucks being Colin coward. Actually, I, don't know, that, I think that guy's having a pretty good yeah, time. Yeah, that guy looks like he's having a lot of fun. He just says mean shit about people all day with nothing to back it up. He also yeah, he's like a, millions of dollars. He's like the sp- no, actually, I was gonna say he's like the sports Rush Limbaugh, but that's Skip Bayless. His uh, yeah. his studio is also built where he's on this huge. Also, thing, that's Clay Travis, and then his <laughs> his guests sit like way down below him. That's a, Have you ever seen his? That's, set? that's Bill O'Reilly stuff. That's what Bill O'Reilly used to do. So, oh, really? So that's who he is. He's a sports Bill O'Reilly. That's what yeah. Colin Coward is. I thought Bill O'Reilly was sports. No, who's no, Bill O'Reilly's to- on fucking Fox News. Uh, uh, Rush, a- Rush Limbaugh used to be on Monday Night Football. Who's <laughs> also crazy? Who's yeah. the guy? <laughs> yeah, and, and then uh, he, got, he got fired. Dennis Miller, right? Dennis yeah. Miller was on Monday Night Football too. Who, no, who's and the then guy? He became like a really big conservative. Who's the guy that used to write the final page of the Sports Illustrated magazine? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you bring this up all the time too. Uh, Is it? Glenn? I do not bring it up all the time. The this second time in the second time I've ever brought it up I've in my it, life. No what was the guy's name? I don't remember. Bill, Bill, Bill O'Reilly Bill was something. the O'Reilly factor on Fox News. Oh, John O'Reilly? No. 
O'Reilly Auto Parts. And then O, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Wow. Wow. Let's do Fuck, Mary Kill, yo. Wait, but what, what, didn't Bill O'Reilly, he had like a thing. Did they? They all. They all had a thing. Like they, all those conservative media guys. But Bill all O'Reilly had, a, had the funniest had one thing. because Pierce had, Morgan. Oh fuck it! I'll do it live. No, when Cameron was, they were like Cameron said he wouldn't snitch on his neighbor if his neighbor shot somebody, and then mm-hmm. Bill O'Reilly interviewed him and Jim Jones or Dame Dash about it, and then Bill O'Reilly was saying something to Cameron, and Cameron was just laughing. At him. He's like, "I got dirt on you, doggy. I heard about you." And then the thing came out like seven years later. That's funny. Yeah, Cameron's a man. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to shout out Shikari uh, Richardson because she's going to be the coolest thing ever in the Olympics. Yeah, the sprinter. Yeah. Shoot your shot. Rick Riley. Okay. It's a different person. Rick Riley. But write it down now so you know. <laughs> I'll never remember it. But yeah, she's going to be awesome during the Olympics. She's got orange hair, long ass nails. Scarlett Johansson? Uh, also. <laughs> Who'd you say? Shikari Richardson. Oh. She's a sprinter. Kind of sounds the same. Yeah, especially when I say it. Yeah. She's going to be sick. Yeah, she's got long nails and like it's really it's really funny to watch her. Yeah, she looks all of fucking Dallas, Texas. <laughs> she's she's amazing. Okay, you have to. This might be an easy question. You have to eat one Olympian's pussy after they compete. What sport do you choose? Swimming. Yeah, swimming's pretty good. Right. Sw- swimming. It can't be a water sport. Okay. <sighs> curling. I'm thinking curling too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I curling. was thinking curling also. Yeah. But those women are kind of nerdy. What yeah, about like I mean, uh, oh bro? Have you bro? No, summer Olympics it has to be summer Olympics. The, uh, I was oh gonna say the God. reason I got into curling one Olympics is because I saw the Swedish curling team and I was oh, like right? oh I'm watching this yeah. hell yeah yeah summer Olympics. and the well, girls weren't like, that bad either like a hundred meter dash that's quick pretty quick yeah but they do a lot of warming no up. that seems yeah in the summer that seems like um, hey but they drink a lot of water though rowing yeah. or something no <laughs> definitely not that's no. like they're just legs are just sitting together true like, true like a boat um it's like oh it's gotta be volleyball. Yeah, but that's sweaty and sandy. Yeah, but they just hop in the, uh, in the ocean right Crunchy. after. No, uh, okay, well, what's the timeline? What's like right after they compete? As soon as they, the whistle as blows. As soon as the whistle th- blows, they get their medal. On the podium, conference. they pull their pants down. You got to walk up. <laughs> <laughs> gobble, gobble. Okay. Uh, God, there's got to be something like, there's got to be something curling-esque in the Summer Olympics that. Some boring shit. Yeah, that we're not thinking about. Hmm. There's got to be. Wheelchair basketball. Yeah, this Paralympics count the one, no. the one where the blind people just like I lay in front of the goal. We don't talk about so my people right now. They don't move. <laughs> Morgan's gonna What's be in the called? Paralympics. It's called like goal ball. Goal ball. Yeah. What's oh, fuck? What's something that doesn't take a lot of effort? That's a sport. Oh, maybe like track and field. What long? No, job? but like one of those chicks mm. that just like throws a thing. Oh, oh field. So like super field. field. If you're just, just like going quick. to javelin, like all right, what's up? Javelin? Yeah, but those like, bitches are yeah, big. Yeah. yeah, but you know <laughs> they're your they're your type of women. <laughs> you my hey, type Morgan. of women is so many different things. Look how look how far I can throw this bowling ball. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, oh yeah, here we go. Look how far I can throw this bowling ball. I mean, like big Russians and shit. Yeah, but I would just take like the cute ones there. Aren't they? I don't. Yeah, I was gonna say there's no. A, it's, whoever, like it's whoever won. wins gold. I, I, I don't know. You don't gold? get to choose the hottest oh, one. All right. yeah. oh, I, but man. also, I don't this know. This is wild now. This is yeah. a whole different thing. If we're being honest, I don't. You know, I don't know how many hot shot putters are out there. But if I had to guess, none. <laughs> yeah. Not in the Olympics. Yeah. Not in the, not that's the Olympics. Fair, not that's the Olympics. Fair, not yeah. the Olympics. Yeah. So I'll now you go. All right. Yeah. I mean, beach volleyball would be a good one because all they're all pretty sexy. Yeah, for sure. They're gorgeous. Cute. No, not gymnasts. That's creepy. Yeah, like yeah, 14, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, I said not gymnast. Damn, that's a dangerous game to play gymnast. It's also crazy that that's the first thing that pops up when also, you're typing cute Olympians. Not a, yeah. not a bad one if they weren't all, if, the, if they had to be 18 to compete in the Olympics. Images. Okay, it's all gymnasts. And no. Nope, what about like frisbee thing. or something? That's not this a frisbee in the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> whatever she plays. We are missing so? something. Oh, she kind of see? Yeah, see? whatever she plays. That's what I choose. That's a sport. She plays oh, good the guy. piano. Looks like tennis. It's like a hurdler. What maybe? about shooting? Isn't archery or something in it? Yo, oh, good yeah. call, man. That's, see, there we go. There's yeah. something There's something in the sort of curling-esque where they're not but, moving a lot. But also, our archer, well, I bet there's like some backwoods, cute little blonde oh, for archer sure. shit. For sure. Or um, fencing. <laughs> Although they're you're, in those big suits. Also, you're really taking a risk because you have yeah. no yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah, no idea. yeah. 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 That's, that's like the, the mystery flavor of a lollipop. <laughs> yeah. That's what that is yeah. of your dumb dumbs outside. Is there girls wrestling? Yeah, there yes. is. Yeah, yeah, no, we were, uh, When we were watching the Olympic Channel earlier today, remember they they ran that promo oh, with the girl girls wrestler? wrestler? Yeah. Oh, Golf. Oh, yeah. Golf is pretty good. But that's 18 holes, right? That's, yeah, that's, uh, that's the time. No, I think archery is the winner. 
Yeah, it's got to be something. I'm looking right now. It's yeah, pretty good. Who's the number one rated archer in the world? Oh, I I just Legolas. (laughs) Nice, good pull. (laughs) That's a fucking nerdy reference. I'm not. Yeah, I don't even get it. Lord of the Rings. Uh, You never watched Lord of the Rings? Yeah, but I was. Oh, that's the chick or the dude with the. Like yeah. years and shit. Yeah, that, the that was gonna arrow. be your nickname, oh. Lake Legolas. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was gonna say the Odyssey, but <laughs> the Odyssey. Yeah, Homer. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? I thought that Legolas was from the Odyssey. Oh, oh okay. I thought you meant your nickname was gonna be the Odyssey. No, uh, that'd be a bad nickname because you're the size of a minivan. <laughs> <laughs Did you find it yet? What the number one no, rated archer looking, in the world? No, I was just looking for cute archers. Archer the cartoon? That's a great archer. It's probably my favorite archer. You think so? Yeah. Oh, the, I remember I watched What about you? when you archer back? Oh, that's what pretty good. Fucking you in that. Oh, well, I don't like that. That's got aggressive. Uh, best female archer of all time, Kim Soo Yang. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> There's also a Lopez How, here. What, 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 when was she active? Does it say? No. It okay. Say. Sometimes it pops up immediately. It's like, oh, 1945. That's There's also it. this chick. She's like- uh, Oh, she's, Interesting. The, what do you call a female archer? The Pika Kamari. An archress? Close. An archer. Oh, okay, damn. <laughs> you said that like it was a thing and I fell for it completely. <laughs> Best female archer of all time, Kim Soo Nyang. Yeah. Nice. Good for her. Ooh, world archery rankings. Okay, here we go. Yeah, get that. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's power in these hot. archers. Please be hot. Yeah, Please yeah. be hot. Oh, uh, this is hard. Okay, uh, it's right now, currently, it's, well, this is as of 2019. That's men, so let me go over to women's. Uh, Choi Mi Sun. Damn, these Asians have archery on lockdown. Yeah. Bro, the first American we get to is Mackenzie Brown. And uh, how far and down is she? Four. Four? Oh, she's not that far down. But Korea... Out of ten, what is she? What's this, Taipei? I, I haven't looked there yet, but Korea, Taipei, Korea, then us, then some Russian chick. Uh, not great. <laughs> I mean, also, she's making a tarp, but no. I'm, she's, you know what? Every woman's a ten. Oh. Yeah, your computer shut off. Huh? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, she's she's great. All right. To Mackenzie Brown. Well, glad we solved that then. Yep. <laughs> uh, you got to fuck Mary Kill? Yes, I do. So, uh, September 11th, albums. Okay. There okay. are three pretty good albums that came out on 9 11, 2001. Okay. Okay. So, The Blueprint, Ghetto Fabulous, that's Fab's first album, and Toxicity. System over down. Huh? System over yeah. down. I don't know the Ghetto Fabulous one. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to kill that one. Bye. That's probably the one I would kill too. But okay. now let's see what we're, we're really talking about. Um, Toxicity fucking rips. It's got all their good songs. Yeah, yeah. but that's the, it's not, it's the, not the blueprint. I think that's the one I'd fuck. Why? Yeah, that's some strong fuck energy. Why? Yeah, it's Wake just. Up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You want to be married to that? You don't want to be married to that. For sure, no. No. For sure, no. Or do you want to spend one night in that where you're like, bro, you have no idea. Yeah, you come out here like, oh, what the fuck? city of our city of our city. And then, yeah, you marry the blueprint. That's classic. That's classy. I can't believe that came out on September 11th. Yep. Wild. What songs are on the blueprint? Well, I was looking up toxicity, but <laughs> blueprint. Uh, fuck. Why am I drawing a blank here? Well, who's your favorite to, rapper? To be you fair, you, you needed. Huh? Jay Z. Oh, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing right you now. Did, you, you did. You did need space to remember on that day. So something has to. Something has to be pushed out. You know. <laughs> you can only really hold so much information on uh, that. Day. Rulers back. Takeover. H to the Izzo. Girls, H girls, to girls. The Izzo. Jig of that nigga. You don't know. Hola, Ovito. Heart of the city. Song cry. All I need. Renegade. Girls, girls, girls. Part two. I mean, that's not all of them. I need to say all of them, but it's a really good album. Um. Yeah, I guess that's pretty easy, right? You fuck toxicity and yeah, yeah. Mary Blueprint. Mary Blueprint. Yeah. I was just trying to figure out how I could work 9 11 into this episode. This <laughs> Very good. <laughs> fuck, what? fuck Mary Kill. Tower, Tower One. <laughs> Pentagon. Field in Pennsylvania. Go. <laughs> Go. Um, <laughs> we leave Tower Two out of this. Tower <laughs> One. Field in Pennsylvania. Pentagon. Probably marry the field in Pennsylvania. Yeah. You would? Yeah. There's like heroism behind yeah. that one. And it's also that like plane got a, shot down by the government. It's a field. 100%. Oh, yeah, you're 100%. Right. You're right. Now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, you're right. It's a field. Yep. You could, you could make a nice memorial there. Yeah, a, like a baseball stadium. Why would I think regular everyday people would then overtake? Yeah. Some, yeah. some, some Christian on his phone was like, I'm going to take these guys down. Yeah. That's the narrative they built. No, it was shot down because it was aimed for the White House. Right. Um, 
Uh, <laughs> I am just kidding. <laughs> uh, Go USA Olympics yes, 2021. <laughs> yeah, totally. Listen, I love US archery. <laughs> um, Mackenzie Brown. Yeah, Mackenzie Brown. Shout Mackenzie out. Brown, favorite athlete. I have a jersey. <laughs> <laughs> the government is good. Edward Snowden's a traitor. Um, yeah, I don't know. Who do you, you who do you fuck then? Tower, tower one, tower, tower, one yeah. tower one, feel good. Yeah, get up in there. You got to yeah. kill the Pentagon because it's like that's the shadiest Shh, one. Out don't of say yeah. those words together. <laughs> Probably the most evil. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, the one I wish collapsed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I shouldn't have done how, this. how many people died in the Pentagon? I don't know. Like five. They don't bring that up. I have a question. Why is it called the Pentagon? <laughs> <laughs> um, question, not a lot. Cause didn't it run into like old uh, papers or something? The, I, I don't know. This is the, the famous thing about the Pentagon is there's no video of the plane crashing into it. Right. Fucking don't show me the survivors, dude. Isn't that crazy? Everyone survived. Yeah. Which is which 60, is no. Which is why people were like, yeah. "What's going on?" A lot of shady shit. Yeah. yeah. Sixty four people were killed on the plane, and one hundred twenty five were killed in the Pentagon. Okay. Damn. It's more than I thought. Yeah, it's definitely more than I thought. It's just I thought it was like six. Crazy. The Pentagon doesn't get enough love for that day. To be honest. No. It shouldn't though. But does it get love in DC? Maybe. Well, you know why? Is because there's no footage of there's it. There's no footage of uh, the plane. Yeah. True. All you see is a picture of a Pentagon. And because like I think it's also Howie. easy for yeah. us to just be like, oh, people in the Pentagon. Like. Also, but also every 9-11, wherever you go, there's just this fucking torture porn that the news plays of yeah. the planes crashing in. And for some reason, bro, I love watching the footage. Not, I don't like enjoy, but I I watch it a lot. It's uh, it's a couple it, times a year, probably. It takes you back to a time, yeah. Like you really felt it because you felt it's, it. It is crazy yeah. to watch. Well, it's also it's crazy. Like the first big th- moment in our lives. I was watching like a UFC fight and like this guy got knocked out and people on Twitter were like, "They should," or he broke his arm. People were like, "They should." The ref should have stopped the fight. They shouldn't have shown this. Out. And I was like, "Bro, when I was 13 years old, I watched a couple thousand people dying like on yeah. repeat you one had, random yeah. Tuesday you morning. People falling off yeah. the building. I remember and then, the building. and then the internet after that where I could just find it wherever. It's like this guy broke his arm. It's okay. Yeah, I, I remember. Yeah, the, during during the because I watched the live stream is right before school and yeah, they were showing people jumping off the yeah. building. Yeah. And the teachers would be like, oh, I think it's a desk. I think that's a chair. Oh, like, did, we can see it's a person. Did your did your when in, in school, did they talk about it at all? Yeah, they kind of had to in no. high school because kids were getting like Taking out of school. Like oh, you were in, you were yeah. in New York. Fuck. Yeah, I, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, yeah a, that's a big deal. That's yeah. a, that's yeah, a yeah, different sure. thing. How about for you? I kind of have a funny story. Uh, mm-hmm. Two parts. Um, so the first one <laughs> is a, a, part of funny story a, from a, a, a kid runs into a, our classroom and goes, a plane crashed in the bathroom. <laughs> and everyone went, no, it didn't. We would have heard it. Um, <laughs> so the teachers are like, what the fuck Where is this going on? Where are you going with that story, bro? <laughs> oh, oh, we can go verify yeah. this very shortly, quickly. Oh, yeah. Let's go look and see if you're telling the truth. <laughs> right. Oh, shit. Um, turns out he was like listening to the news or whatever. Um, so then they found out, they turned the TVs on. Oh, so it happened in school. You were in school. I was in school. Yeah, I was okay. in school too. Um, okay. But here's the thing. We do, um, when, you're, when I was in fourth grade, I think, fifth grade, um, we do this thing where you go and sell like wrapping paper and stuff to the neighborhood to try to raise money for school. Mm-hmm. September 11, 2001 was the day our started okay. the day we got all the wrapping paper and went around. Oh no. So I got out of school on September 11th and was going door to door selling wrapping paper and half the houses were just like people crying and bawling. And then some people were like, yeah, I'll buy some fucking wrapping paper. As right. the world was collapsing. Right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like, Ooh, I bet plenty of wrapping paper. Yeah. The most wrapping paper. Were people like super racist to, to you guys afterwards. Not maybe like little kids and shit. They yeah, make I mean, jokes. It's like so. I grew up in a very Asian forgot, yeah. community, so okay. it's like. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, it you guys are all fucking elites over there. Yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. it's uh, fucking, <laughs> you know, um, it's it was really hard to affect us in our ivory towers. So, <laughs> 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 so uh, no, so it was like uh, yeah, it just wasn't a, it wasn't like, it, but it became like any. Oh, and it was before you were in school, huh? Yeah, so I woke up in the morning wow. expecting to watch cartoons. Yeah. Because yeah. in the morning, there was this, like, history cartoon that they had on and Sailor Moon, ironically. Wishbone? I, no, no, no. Ooh, Wishbone ripped. Wishbone was a cartoon. A, Wishbone was, like, a, a book action. thing. This yeah. was, like, it was called Hysteria. 
Okay. And then and then Sailor Moon, ironically enough. It's another yeah. callback to You're yesterday. You're obsessed with her. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't get the Sailor Moon question right. I should say that. I did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I didn't get the prompt. I should just put that out there. But uh, You're the one that started jacking off when you heard the name. Hey, hey, hey. Sailor Jupiter, you know what it is. Uh, <laughs> Shooting a shot, baby. Yeah. If you're listening, yeah. oh, DMs are open. Uh, what was I gonna say? No, so yeah, I I turn on the TV and it's just the fucking buildings yeah. are on fire, and I watch both of them Damn. fall, and then I go to school. Uh, they didn't talk about it at school at all. Wow. Yeah, everyone just sort of went. There was this big energy throughout the day. Yeah, yeah. It's Something's big, a little off. Everyone, no, everyone knows what's going on. No one knows how to approach it because at the time, no one knew what the, well, yeah. what was happening. Um, my cousin went to Stuyvesant. He was a senior, and Stuyvesant is the closest building to the World Trade that, oh, shit. Okay. that wasn't that wasn't damaged. Mm. So he saw Crazy. one of the planes hit. How old is he? He was a senior when it happened. In so high he, school? Yeah, he was Damn. 18. He was wow. 18. Yeah, what a yeah. time. Cra- it, was, it was crazy. His story is crazy. HBO did a documentary. He was in it. Oh, word. Oh, yeah. Damn. Yeah, I love those 9-11 documentaries. That's too much. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, I like I like the one. Loose Change is pretty good. Have you seen the, the footage where they're like, it's just like firefighters working on a a fire hydrant or whatever. And then they hear a plane and the camera just goes up to a plane that's really low. And it just, you just see it crash into the towers Jesus. right there. Yeah. Jesus. Insane. No. Insane. No, no. Yeah. That's a lot. Um, but I would say like any Brown comic who's my age or older who lived through nine 11 is political in some sense. Uh, they have some sort of, cause it just sort of makes you political. Cause all of a yeah. sudden you, you went from being like a cultural group, like, I remember as a little kid, like being very aware that no one on TV looks like me. Right. And yeah. it's like, they, it's a being a culture group that no one really cares about to being one that's like dominating the headlines. Yeah. So it's like, you become, it, it was like my first, like, okay, I'm in the matrix. They like plug me in and yeah. I know, I know what's going on politically. I know who my president is. I know who my governor is yeah. two days. I mean, two years after that, Gray Davis got recalled as a governor. And I was like very into that yeah. and very, yeah. And it's like, it was a time too when um, mm-hmm. villains and TV shows and movies shifted from Russian to yeah. yes. Middle, oh, yeah. Eastern. Middle Eastern. Yeah, I remember twenty four. Yeah, yeah. 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 That was yeah. a big yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. Didn't that come out that started before? It did, but there was a there was a little bit of a shift. Yeah. And then there's stuff like Homeland. Even though I love that well, show. No, I think the pilot of twenty four is about Middle Easterners hijacking a plane. Oh really? Oh, and that's it was before nine eleven. That's kinda crazy. Yeah. yeah, crazy. But yeah. I mean it's also like that. Yeah. I but think so we some people the think, warning signs. Some people think Kiefer Sutherland. And George Bush worked together. Do you <laughs> do either you guys remember planes before nine eleven and like flying and shit? Not no? vaguely. Vaguely, I, we, we I used to go. I wasn't a plane. We used to go like the Bahamas all the time when I was a little kid. And uh, yeah, I remember. Stop it. Bahamas boat club. Okay, I remember. Uh, like planes used to be pretty fucking lax. Like, yeah, there was a smoking section. Yeah, you know I, what I mean. I remember flying back from New York with my mom and my dad meeting us at the gate. Yep. I remember that. It's yeah. like one big pre. In old movies, you can run right up yeah. to a yeah. fucking airplane. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Crazy. Yeah. It's like, we probably should have seen this it's coming. Like death of romance. Um, yeah, I don't think I ever flew pre 9 11. I don't think I was ever in an airplane. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. different time. Yeah, we were so poor, I had to take the underground railroad. Oh, nice. Right. Good callback. Good, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> 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 yeah, 9 11 was crazy. What a, Did you have fun being Americans after 9 11, though? It's kind of a fun time for mm. the country. I had fun being a New Yorker afterwards. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Rooting on Rudy Giuliani. Yeah, <laughs> actually, yeah, to be honest. I, I think yeah, everyone, the country fucking loved him. Bro. I think everyone was rooting on Rudy Giuliani. Yeah, but that lasted in, like, the black community for, like, a year. Yeah, but... It was like, oh, yeah, everybody's when they was like, wait, you're still doing Stop and Frisk. Right? Just, yeah, let's get back to the fucking point. Do you here. remember the sad songs that would come out and they'd play radio footage of the yeah. calls of the towers in between the chorus of the songs and stuff. Jesus. No. See, but that's how I was just like a year after we had like the sickest song. It was like Cameron and Jay-Z welcome to New York City. Huh. And like that was like fuck yeah. What about that song I, get you pumped. I, have I showed you the PD Pablo? <laughs> you have. You have. You know that song North Carolina yes. come on. He did a 9-11 version that Jeffrey showed me. Yes, Jeffrey showed me this too. USA. <laughs> it's the same lyrics. He just says USA instead of North Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> North Carolina is a big uh, military state. Yeah. You probably knew a lot of troops. A lot of racists there. Yeah. I said military. Isn't that where Charlotte? No, uh, Charles, Charleston is? Char- yeah, Charleston. No, South, South, Carolina. South, Carolina. South Carolina. I think South is worse than North. North Carolina is... Yeah, Where's Charlotte? Know. Charlotte's North Carolina. Charlotte's, Charlotte's, Char- Charlotte is in North Carolina. Yeah. It's like Charlotte, any of those... Charlotte's like, a cool place. Any like North-South and dynamic, then, the people in the North always think they're better than the people in the South. And yeah. the people in the South tend to prove the people in the North right. Yep. And Charlottesville is in Virginia. Virginia. And then... What's South- Charlottesville? 
That's where the Nazi rally happened. Remember that parade you went to a couple years ago? Oh, yeah, that was so that, fun. That, yeah. family, that family reunion you're at? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was uh, Charleston. Oh, uh, no. It's, I think it's Charlottesville. Charlottesville. Where, where the guy, UVA is. Where the guy ran and all yeah. the yeah. people? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Also, the, hey, the tiki people. Tor- the tiki torch. Yeah. Yes. I think everyone should just let everybody else protest and do their thing. Because it's only when other people show up. That's when there's like violence and shit. Yeah. You know like what clashing. I mean? Yeah. It's like, hey, today's going to be the BLM people and tomorrow. Let's, not let's go protest today. <laughs> yeah. Let's we protest. Protest. You guys are going to have to carry me, but let's down. protest South Daylight. Carolina. Oh, South Carolina. Let's That's do good. it. They, they were the first ones to secede. Yeah. Bitches. Yeah. Fuck them. Oh, we don't want to be here. Okay. See ya. <laughs> if shit left them. Yeah. That'd yeah, been we, sick if we were like, you guys can't come back. Though. Yeah. We don't need you. Everybody, they would have been happy about it, though. Yeah. Build, build a wall around South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Well, don't come to. No. Wait. Myrtle Beach is in South Carolina, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, there's other Myrtle Beaches. Well, now that they don't like, if you think about, it, let's go 1850s time or whatever. Like now that the they they have to pay their workers, they're not yeah. like yeah, they're sure. not like fucking making money for the country. Did we? How much after slavery? How much did we really need the South? Yeah, not at all. Well, so the Carolinas they produce uh, most of our rice. Let's, okay, I thought that was Uncle Ben. Let's um, From South Carolina. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah it's Let's keep let's keep Georgia. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Georgia can stay. Let's but they keep, got they got to do some housekeeping. How do we feel about Florida? Yeah, uh, you need Let's a wild keep, card. You need there. a wild card. We want it. Yeah. You need a wild yeah. card. Um, Louisiana, yes. Keep Mississippi, Alabama. Go. We, then we bye. Need them. Yeah, we don't need them. Uh oh. I get rid of Mississippi. Why not Bama? No. I'm, mm. See, here's the thing about Mississippi. It's got it's like the highest percentage of black people per state. Well, they can per go, walk walk across the border to where. Louisiana. Louisiana. Right, yeah, yeah. Fine. Yeah. yeah, it's a more fun place anyway. True. We'll take them. True, true, true. Arkansas, get rid of. Missouri, get rid of. I Ooh, also, not I don't Missouri. Like the, Missouri's got St. Louis, though. I don't like that. St. Louis sucks, dude. Does it? I think I just I like people from St. Louis. I don't like. I visited St. Sure, Louis that, once. That moved out. Yeah. Right. yeah. First, yeah, no, without a doubt. I, yes. I, I, I visited St. Louis once and I was like, I don't need to come back here ever again. I grew up in East St. Louis. Um, also, I don't. I, it really bothers me that Kansas City calls itself the Midwest. It's not. How can it be? It feels like it. When me. you think of the Midwest, you think of Chicago, Michigan, Indiana, yeah, it the Ohio. Part of the Ohio. It's just, it's too south for me. They don't hang out with us. But Kansas what, City has never hung out with so us. So I think St. Louis is the Midwest too though, right? St. Louis is definitely Midwest. I think they call themselves the Midwest and I'd give them more Midwest credit than Kansas City. Kansas City is more north though, right? I have no idea. Okay. I was just, they just don't feel Midwest to me. But Kansas is Midwest, right? Kansas? Yeah. No, I think that's West. That's no. Colorado and shit. No, I think that's Midwest. Kansas? No. I always think of Kansas. Kansas I wouldn't consider Kansas part of Midwest, no. no. It's a big tank country. It's the West. Anything that's, that's like a big a, rectangle like that can't be in the Midwest. Fly over I was not Midwest? I was a little rectangle. Kansas is a big rectangle. If, would you consider <laughs> Iowa Midwest? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Barely. They're okay. like, I think, so they're the edge. I, Iowa's the edge of your Midwest. Yeah. Okay. I think all the Corn. all the Big Ten teams are, if you're a Big Ten state, that's Midwest. Nebraska was a late addition, though. That's not Midwest. I don't think Nebraska is Midwest. I think of that as like Nebraska, that's like, Kansas are right on top of each other. Yeah, I think Kansas, Kansas is Nebraska's big, probably Midwest. Kansas isn't Big Ten either. It's Big Twelve, which is the West. Ooh, good point. Yeah, good point. Yeah, good yeah. Point. And Maryland's not the Midwest. No, well, I'm thinking of like the classic. No. Rutgers, Rutgers isn't Midwest. I'm thinking classic Big Ten. Maryland, Mar- yeah, Maryland's Mid Atlantic. Mid, I think Midwest is yeah, for is sure. Yeah, Minnesota to Ohio. Right, because Pennsylvania is the east. Let me just look at a map yes. here. Okay. Minnesota to Ohio. Okay, I agree with this. Michigan to, because Tennessee is, Tennessee and Kentucky are the south. That's south. I would say St. Louis is probably the bottom of the Midwest then. Yeah. Yeah, but, no, but, St. Louis is Midwest, bro. It's well, like, it's well, pretty close to Chicago. Well, here's the thing. St. Louis is the gateway to the west. So if it's the gateway to the west, it must be Midwest. Yeah. And then outside or, of St. Louis is the west. Okay. So yeah, here's, just, here's, here's where we're going Midwest, just, right? <laughs> you take this little part of Pennsylvania. Then you go Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky's not in, Illinois isn't in. But then, like, if you go right here, so I think this bottom part of Missouri, probably that wouldn't be Midwest. But these two cities up here at the upper part, Kansas City and St. Louis, that's Midwest. Yeah. Just, and then it, goes, it goes right around here in Minnesota, Iowa. They yeah, I guess Kansas, Kansas and Oklahoma, you're right. I wouldn't. It's mm. the West. I think Kansas may be a split state where some of it's the Midwest and the rest of it is the Southwest. Hey, nobody in Kansas says they're from the Midwest. Okay. I promise. All right. Mm. I'm going to give Nebraska. Ooh, Nebraska. No, just, don't give Nebraska Midwest. It's That's the middle of a country, bro. Yeah, but the Midwest has nothing to do with that. It was, yeah. So it was is Nebraska. So is Nebraska like uh, more Middle East? <laughs> but I, <laughs> yeah. so Nebraska, it's like it's like Black Mountain shit. Whatever it is, like the Wyoming, South Dakota, North Rocky Dakota. Mountains. 
Oh yeah, Big Black Sky. Hill. The Black no, but that's Hills. not Rocky Mountains because Rocky Mountains is like the, Utah, Black, Colorado. the Black, Black Hills. Hills. Yeah, that's Black Hills. The, okay. The Great Plains state. Dakotas. Yeah. Oh, would, Great Plains. Okay. So I Kansas would, is Great Plains. I would then. love to that. have the Dakotas in the Midwest. Those places rule. Do they? No. Yeah. Beautiful, bro. They're gorgeous. South, bro. South Dakota is beautiful, and ain't nobody live there but Indians. Smart. I Can we get a state? I have them. Who? Black people. You have a lot of states. Yeah, but like a. No, we have Mississippi, and like even then, they don't even run that state. Shit. State penitentiary. These are bad. Things you're saying are bad. These are not good things about my, my people, my culture. Wasn't wasn't uh, I'm against? Wasn't Liberia supposed to be a country for uh, ex black Americans? Yeah. in Africa. Yeah, Marcus Garvey type stuff. Bro, we ain't doing that shit. Okay. Liberia. I used to I used to be friends with Marcus Garvey's like great grandkids or whatever. Really? Mm-hmm. Nice. Amy That's... and Jamie Garvey. They are high achieving people. I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> Dana Garvey. Um, See that's the thing Like black people in America They need some <laughs> shit In America Because we're not Going back to Africa Just be a part of America then yeah, you need your own are, Special place for Cause it'd be nice I mean you have Certain cities and stuff Yeah south side Chicago Englewood East St. Louis. For a little bit longer East St. Louis For a little bit longer My heart Just like a place Where like <laughs> If like Ooh like reservations But for black people That'd be sick. Oh, because you, yeah, know reser- well. you know how reservations Are awesome places uh, Yeah that's fair <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But we've uh, Yeah damn yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, fine. This, just stay the fuck out of Atlanta, and we're good. This Who are you talking to? Me? <laughs> You're people like you. <laughs> oh, cool. Hassan, you guys oh, are welcome. Oh, yes. really? Cool people? No, whites. Whatever. You're welcome. Leave us Atlanta. <laughs> leave us the Bronx. Leave us certain parts of Miami. I guess. Would you rather live here or in Africa? Here. So, no doubt. So you're welcome. <laughs> uh, so you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, we're both welcome for each other. Glad oh, not, no, I don't want to thank you. Glad to have you. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys should give Vermont. I think we should chop this shit up, honestly. Looking at the map. I Vermont think. is beautiful, too. Yeah, you, that's yours, bro. Vermont, all New right. Hampshire, Maine, that's all white. Can we have Michigan? That's true. That's true. Huh? Can I, we have I, Michigan? Yeah, I we think, get Detroit. I think the changing of the leaves definitely will just distract white people enough for them yeah. to just have Vermont. Yeah, yeah. Vermont rules. Yeah. That's why it's like white people in like Alabama, Mississippi, it's just like hot and all the time, and they're just like just angry. Yeah. yeah. All right, we, get, we get New Orleans though. So let's draft. We get all the big cities. Let's draft. <laughs> okay. You go first. Um, I'm want? drafting for whites. Yeah. Okay. You're drafting for blacks. You draft for Asians. Miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. Yeah. Everybody right. left. Okay. But you, that means you also gotta consider like Hispanic people too. I know. Yeah. So right. It's snake draft, right? Okay. All right. Who's going first? Fuck. I'll go first. For years of things that have happened to my people. All right. We get the first pick? Yes. Yeah. Okay. With the first pick and uh breaking up the nation. We'll go draft. top five. I'm taking California. Damn! Well, well, we're going cities. We gotta go cities. It's my oh, city. I, yeah, thought, yeah. I thought we were going cities? states. Yeah, we gotta go I cities. I thought we were going states. We gotta go cities. Because uh, you don't want all of California. You want Bakersfield? Well, too? that's get the thing. You get the bad yeah, end. Good. Hey, bye. Bruce you Gray. Out the you and your people. family pick up and get the fuck out of here. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So yeah. we're taking California. We're taking right. California? Damn. Well, that's the number one pick. Yeah, um, for sure. Yeah. Easily. Um, You'll get number two. There's no way. We will take. Miscellaneous takes New York. Good choice. Damn. And Miss Lane gets something good on was, the back end. So. Yeah, I kind of like a Miss Lane. Wasn't player. even in my top five. Yeah, it was. You were so going to take it. Uh, <laughs> you were definitely going to take it. You had no choice. All right. Whites get two picks in a row. Yeah, yes. that's true. Oh, wow. I think we know what these are going to be. We are taking. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. Take let's them. see. Take those big dumb seats. <laughs> um, damn. I don't know. This is kind of hard. I don't want Texas. Florida would be cool. Um. Not one in Texas is kind of crazy. This is kind of a biased yeah. pick, but I stand behind it. I'm taking Michigan. I don't hate it. I want the fresh water. Here's the thing. Because it's going to be a race war. I want the fresh water, <laughs> and I want the beaches. I feel like you kind of reached up a little bit for Michigan, but it is something that I was taking, like, thinking a little bit. It's a beautiful draft. state. Okay, Would so you, just pick, pick? you just picked, like, a very sturdy uh, offensive guard, like, number uh, three. W- why not Texas? Too hot. Okay. I don't, you know, it's sand. Too hot. You live there. I'm not a, I don't really <laughs> like a okay. desert thing. So who's your next pick? Um, this one's a little harder because I, I now I feel like I need a coast state, um, and I kind of want to go Pacific Northwest because it's beautiful, but it Don't also rains it. a lot. But I'm also thinking Florida would be fun to have. Just have, just take it. Um, it, I mean, it's the closest thing to California without being California. I'm gonna go uh, <laughs> okay. in terms in terms of climate and, and water and shit. So yeah, we're taking Florida, Michigan, and Florida. Damn. See, this puts me in a quandary because, like, Texas is on the board, but I don't know if I want Texas. Yeah. It's a big go, state. Yeah, it's a big state, but I already have New York. You know what? 
Yeah, give me something close. I'm gonna take Washington State. All right, that's a good pick. So now I get two back to back. You get yeah. two back to back. So we're doing five. We're doing five well, each. Well, let's right? do four. Do four. Okay. No, I like five each. Five each. Well, then it's uneven. All right, you fine, have to four. do an even number. Okay. So I have California right now. Yeah. And my two back to back. I think I'm just getting great value here. I'm definitely taking Texas. You got to take All Texas. Right. Yeah. 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 It slipped. Mm-hmm. I'm taking Illinois. Take All right, for Chicago. Chicago. Okay. I, mean, I got a strong free. I just, I just say I'm just dealing with Chicago here, and the rest of Illinois, Illinois is sucks. fucking trash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, I'm, re- I'm really just drafting Chicago with the pick. I, it's like a Raiders pick. A, I saw some fucking speed. It's a slot receiver. Yeah, it's right. running a four two one trick like, pony. Yeah. So who, what, are, what are your three that you got? I got California, Texas, and Chicago. California, Texas, Chicago. That's yeah. pretty good. Not bad. We, I, sh- I shouldn't have let Texas fall, but I, I like Washington State. Where are you at right now? I'm at Washington New York State, New York. All right. I'm like you need some sun though. He needs something in the south. Yeah, you're gonna get. You're going to get gloomy up there. Uh, I'm going to go third pick. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, I got one for sure. I can't believe you picked Michigan first. I can. That's true. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. Great state. You know what? I'm going Georgia. Well, okay. I think you need to do that. Yeah. That was really strong. I need, a, I need, a, I need a, that's the that's strongest strong. southern state left. All right. I'm going, without a doubt, Montana. Montana. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go on, sorry. The biggest fucking state besides Alaska. No one's taking fucking Alaska. Oh yes, it's the biggest state, bro. I'm not, and, I wouldn't take Alaska. And no. it's woods and beautiful and national parks and shit. I mean, this is, look, you got a pretty good lineup for which, white people, which leads right, right? Mm-hmm. which leads me to my next one. Um, Denver. It's the hub. Fuck, dude. I'm taking Colorado. Wow. Damn, that wow. was my next pick. It's the hub. That was wow. my next pick. I think that's a steal. That was my I next think pick. That, a steal too. that was my next fucking pick. Yeah, I was like, one. don't say Colorado. Don't say Colorado. Because that's damn, I got it got I got got. That's your last that's a great last pick. All right, so I have I have one more left. Yeah. Damn. We're sort of running out of prime. Well, now I'm wondering. Okay. Well go on, go on. What, what were you saying? I'm wondering if Montana was a good pick. Because now no, I it's a terrible pick. I kinda wanna do but I, I do I fuck with Montana a lot. Yeah, cool. Glacier but you National could, Park you find that shit in Oregon too. <laughs> At least well, you right, got like a pretty- going, if I go Oregon, then I have th- I have all coasts plus Denver. So I'm going to do Oregon instead. Okay. So Montana's back up for grabs if you want it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, all right. So I have I have New York, Washington State. Georgia. Georgia. So I've got, I, I need something Midwesty. What do we have left in the middle? I don't want Indiana. I'm, hey, Pennsylvania. I don't want Wisconsin. No. I was going to say Wisconsin or Minnesota. Aren't I, that's literally what I'm going to say. I was going to say Minnesota. I think I'll take Minnesota. Okay. That'll be my last pick. All right. Well, so, I, th- I think... W- Okay, yeah, I want to see what your last pick is. Then we'll. So I got California, Texas, and Illinois. That's so, that's strong. That's really strong. I don't Are know you, how we let that happen. And he's just gonna say Illinois now because it's his state. So yeah, <laughs> you can say whatever uh, you yeah. want. Yeah, it's my state. We're, yeah. Uh, ooh, last pick. I'm gonna go. You have nothing East Coast. I know. I'm thinking Pennsylvania because I get Philly, but I'm also thinking maybe I take Virginia and I get a little Washington D.C. action. Virginia. I think Maryland gets D.C. No, it's DC on the, is the own thing. You got to pick yeah. DC if oh, you want okay. DC. Okay. I'm taking the 51st state of Puerto Rico. <laughs> okay. He's taking Puerto Rico. <laughs> Weird. Okay. Really, really, really giving the rest of us I'm, a chance with I'm, a weak bench. Yeah, no, I'm, for think, sure. no, I'm not taking Puerto Rico. I'm taking Hawaii. <laughs> you should take, uh, that's a good pick, actually. That's Hawaii. a good pick. That's a good um, pick. Kind of a waste if we go to war, but. Yeah. It's just tough. All the black people in Hawaii. You, I think it's you the should, littest place ever. I think you should have taken DC because then you get the government. That's a good point. You are the government. Yeah, but DC's not, it's, it's a weird thing. Um, so what do we lose? No Vegas. Vegas no is Vegas. Vegas, Vegas is gone. We're like, no, we don't need that. No. <laughs> Kansas all, City and all that All shit. the races looked at Vegas like, that's where our trash goes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. international waters right there. Yeah. Um, no man's land. Kansas City gone. New Orleans gone. Philadelphia uh, yeah. gone. Philadelphia gone. Boston, Boston out of here. Boston, Boston, none of us even considered. Yeah. No, gone. it's gross. Trash. I will say this. I think one of the biggest losses here is uh, New Orleans. Montana. Oh. New, or- New Orleans is a big loss, I think, but. Yeah, and then of course Montana. Who yeah. can forget? <laughs> yeah, Yellowstone National Park is gone. We're gonna just all those beautiful. No one took Utah. Out. No one took Arizona. I think it's a little too hot there. Yeah, Utah. Too deserty. U- Utah was a sleeper pick. I think if we went five each, Utah would. Utah would have crossed people's it. minds yeah, at pick. the very no, least. Never. No point was I ever going to consider Utah. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, bro, Utah's gorgeous. He, he loves. I know Utah. it's gorgeous. Yeah, I love Utah. Utah's yeah, gorgeous. you love it because it's a bunch of blonde chicks. Oh uh, no, that's the that's the thing about you. Like, there's a lot of but it's like because I, I said this. I've said this many times. Mormons know how to recruit, bro. There are women from everywhere. Sure. Everywhere, bro. I was at the Mormon temple. We're walking around and just gorgeous Panamanian woman came up and talked to us and asked us about if we've, you know, given Mormonism a chance. And we were like, for for you, we'll listen. (laughs) 
for you, for you, the door is a little hey, bit hey, open. Hey, I see the vision. Yeah, yeah, bro. Don't sleep on. Don't sleep on Utah. Also, Mormons have like the largest um, collection of historical records. Really? Yeah, and some safe in Utah, so you get all that. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know if you have access to it. It also has the most strip clubs in the country. Hey, here we go. So, Pretty sick. You know. What else did it get picked? Um, Ohio. We all just no, said nothing else Ohio. matters. Yeah. yeah. All the rest of the states suck. Yeah. Idaho, maybe, because it looks like a gun or something. That's cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Intimidating. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got to go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> we, we're at two and a half hours. Yeah. We're just drafted states. Uh, <laughs> hell yeah. I love it when Hassan's here. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. Plug your shit. Check out the Dangerous Brown podcast. Uh, just go reading through the Bible right now. That's all, that's all I'm doing. <laughs> reading through the Bible, figure out what's up with that. And then I will be Twitch streaming soon. So look out for that. Can hell we do yeah. it with you? Yeah, absolutely. Once I figure out how to how it all works, I have a webcam that I bought like two months ago and uh, just okay. like, sitting there. <laughs> yeah, we gotta, we gotta I used it pretty some, recently. We got to figure Fucking out what games. Shut up! Stop <laughs> making these goddamn jokes. Okay, we got to go. <laughs> it's so funny that you knew what I meant. Uh, cool. Say hello. Love you.